All right, so let's jump into the daily run. So we'll probably have to rant several times on like the goal and everything for today, but we are doing the daily run. We are going to be doing perk duping and uh, we will be grabbing some perks that normally you wouldn't consider in a regular run. You would, you, you know, like no wand tinkering. I don't plan to grab, I don't plan to grab this perk early, but with perk duping, we can try to turn no wand tinkering into actually kind of a cool perk. Nothing that you would really use in a regular bun run, but but today, well, you'll see, you'll see. It, it'll have its positives. Um, I, I, this isn't anything though that it's gonna be like, you watch today's run in your, in your future runs, you're like always grabbing, no wand tinkering. That's just a little bit, a little Will bit ridiculous. Park gamble pretty please? Anything that says on the uh, progress, if you hover over it, if it says uh, in parentheses next to the name, see so it says gamble and it says one off, one offs do not, uh, show up in the method of uh, perk duping that we're going to be doing today. There is another method of perk duping that is called uh, chunk duping, where you can dupe just anything in an area, which you could g dupe the gamble, but that one's more of a glitch. Um, that's more of a glitch within the engine. The method we're using is like a kind of an exploit that was discovered that the devs embraced and is now like a mechanic in the game. Chonk do yeah, chonk duping. You dupe the chonks. Chunk duping is where you travel really far from like one parallel world to like ten parallel worlds over in a single jump. It will cause the area that you end up landing in to duplicate everything that's there. And that includes wands. You could literally place a wand on the ground, and if you have a you have a method for jumping 10 parallel worlds away and then jumping back here there would now be two of these wands if you did it again then there'd be four that that's that's chunk duping it, it can cause your game to be very laggy though so if you do enjoy doing that kind of breaking the engine stuff keep in mind that there are repercussions of lag and instability that come along with it the method we're doing today is more of a uh, mechanic that is embraced by the devs it is part of the game and um you know, it's, I, I mean, I guess you, you could call it like a bug or whatever, but since the devs actually created a balanced method around it, I, I consider it just like anything else in the game. Almost feels like an intentional thing that the devs added. Even though it originally was not. Wait, what the hell? Why is this shot so weak? So what we're doing right here, this is a puzzle. I'm just trying to set it up in such a way that hopefully we can easily get the prize. It's, yeah, it's an intentional, unintentional feature. Intentionally unintentional. Oh, come on. What? Got to use the electricity to tell when when to kick the thing. Okay, I got I got to take off more of the chain. There's just too much of the the chain still attached. There we go. Took off a bit more of it. Oh, look at that! Look, whoa! Not a bad uh, chest. So we got a heart, a wand, and uh, a flask of ambrosia, in fact. Pretty cool. Uh, let me empty out the rest of this ambrosia. Uh, the rest of this berserk. Should have got rid, the, rid of this earlier. No, I am not clicking links right now. I know you guys, when I say, hey, I may, I may post this to YouTube, you guys are like, let me find the most degenerate link I can find to send this in the middle. No, I am ignoring you right now. You're in the Shadow Realm. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Look at this. Chop as well. And oh, I had an Ambrosia anyway, so it wasn't that crazy. Um... A little bit of uh, guiding powder you can see over there. 
Nothing particularly that we need like here. It's something that stands out. Oh, doing a bad job. Let me just... That's guiding powder right there. It's pointing towards the closest orb room, which in this case is the uh, lava lake orb. What it's pointing to its blum and unstable telly are what make that guiding powder. And since I feel like I do this only every once in a while, the YouTube peeps probably, I feel like if I, anytime I do this, I feel like I end up posting it to YouTube. So maybe the YouTube peeps are probably like, I've seen this so many times. But we're going to do it anyways. We're going to head on over to the to the Lava Lake Orb, and we're going to steal it. To show that, you know, this hasn't been patched out. It still exists. Unless it's been patched out and I completely forgot. In which case, oh god, this could get this could get ugly. But that's not the case. We grab the orb. We put some invis on our character. Make sure we don't get any water stain on, on us. And we just run past. That's the trigger point right there. Boss does not spawn in. We're looking good. How did yesterday's Outer Wild stream went? I had a blast. I had a blast. I definitely plan to play more Outer Wilds and hopefully beat it. Though the early game in it, the little tutorial area is a bit slow, but once I got out to adventuring in space, it's pretty cool. Definitely a, an awesome vibe. The YouTube peeps want to hear a goo? They definitely don't. The YouTube peeps are not degenerates like you guys. Their brain has not been fully scrambled. I'll be so mad if you quit oh, Outer really Wilds. You guys could see this guy right now. He is I mean, I don't know how sweat. difficult uh, it gets. Right now, you know, since the planets are new for me, I feel like I'm... You know, it's always something to discover, not too hard, but I feel like it's one of those games that I could get to the point where I'm like, I can't find anything. Like, what am I supposed to do next? But so far, having fun. Still get frustrated whenever things aren't going my way, where I'm like, what is happening? But yeah, I'm having I'm having fun. Swedish, thank you for the Prime 13 monthly. Oh, I really wish you Appreciate guys could you. see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Drenched in sweat. Thanks for all the support, you guys. I appreciate you. What well, we had explicit says win condition, no rant, the whole run. All right, now, now you guys are just making stuff up. You're just lashing out at me. Swedish with a prime 13 monther says, Let's go, let's go, dude. Lucky number 13. Appreciate you, Swedish. And uh, is that uh, Kaskop Kaskopig? Kaskopig? I'm butchering this name. Uh, Kesko with the five month there says hi Dunk. Uh, I hate how good you are at this game. By the way, happy September. Appreciate the love. Happy September to you too. But yeah, Noita is one of those games where you know you play it your own style. Don't don't go thinking that just because I'm got the consistent runs going and all this that that you have to play the way I play. There's tons of ways to play Noita. Play however you want to play. I just try to give advice on like if you're getting frustrated at parts, how I would do it, but that doesn't mean that is the the way to do it. It's just a way to do it. This is a formation that could have paid out a heart. The fact that it didn't makes me a little bit sad. But we already have two hearts in the zone. Uh, actually, no, one heart in the zone, two orbs. I play like Red Riot Ross, just screaming and fungal shifting everywhere. Help! Help! Man, whatever, whatever brings the, the good times for you and Noita, do it. I'm not crazy about the fungal shifts. In the early days, I, got, I enjoyed them a bit, but... I, I fear the moist mob. They make me angry. What's up, Go Segan? Go Sagan? Appreciate the raid. Thanks for stopping by. We're just chilling. If you feel there's a lack of people oh, yelling really and screaming in here, right now. He is uh, that is because I do have Dunkbot muted right now, just in case we end up posting this uh, for the YouTube peeps. I'm trying to make it so that it's at least eligible to be posted. Anytime Dunkbot's not muted, there's always like DMCA issues and crap. So chat's muted for now. 
trying to decide. This one right here, I'm never a fan of it. It's You see this pretty common in the early game. And the spell arrows, not a fan. Full wand is pretty meh. Pretty meh. Well, let's go ahead and pour some water on this guy. Let's pee on him. Because our gold right now is not looking too crazy. Well, that was a bit scary. So if you pour the water on him, you get the bonus gold for killing him with water. This guy does not want us to kill him with water. This guy's just dancing in it. Oh, yeah, this is why you're not supposed to use the water method all the time, because sometimes he gets a bit frisky and uh, takes a chunk of your health away, which I was a bit... It was kind of my, it was my own fault. I was a bit sloppy there. Oh, well. We got the bonus gold. Speaking of bonus gold, was there just not a pheromone flask over here? Because if I found a pheromone flask at the potion shop, we wouldn't even have to care about getting any gold, really. There's another dude here. Sorry, I, I should have paid better attention earlier when I went by that shop. Pheromone? Well, there isn't any pheromone. Huh. Kind of rare. I feel like you would normally see at least one pheromone. All right, so the right side, I think, is pretty cleared out. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, what made you feel like this Noita Run challenge was more eligible for a YouTube upload compared to any other challenges you do? Um, I, nothing specifically. It's more like I haven't posted a YouTube video in a little while, and this one may be too boring in the end. Um, we'll, I'll, I'll go off of your guys' feedback. That's usually how I do everything with the uploads. I'll say, is this worth? And sometimes people are like, eh. Meh. Then other times you're like, yeah, that was fun. So we'll see at the end of the adventure if you guys think it's worth. I just, the other day, like, I think it was a week ago, somebody stopped by and was asking about perk duping. And I was like, yeah, I, I've posted one somewhat recently on YouTube, I think. Because I've done them, you know, every couple months we do a perk duping run. Yeah, but I looked and the last time I posted one on YouTube was, I think, over a year ago. <laughs> and that's not good because... I haven't uh, necessarily, every time there's a change in Noita, I don't just run to YouTube and say, hey, you know, here's the latest version of, you know, this mechanic. So I don't think I've shown the latest version of perk duping on YouTube. I don't think in any of my longer runs recently. So I figured this was a good way to show it. Uh, we don't need any more invis. I just realized that. This pouch is a gold pouch, which means our gold issues are solved. Because anytime you see a gold pouch, gold pouches uh, represent... Uh, they give you, they give you a thousand gold, sixty seven percent full. That's a thousand gold in it. And the reason we don't just destroy the bag and all the gold pop out and just pick it up is because I think I'm gonna need a um, a pouch today. Because for the perk duping method that we're using is gonna rely on a pouch of silver. Dunk isn't even worried about getting banned for duping. Okay, the devs embrace duping in Noita. Well, they kind of put some mechanics in there that to murder you, but the point is, it's allowed. Um, so the negative thing about doing a bomb here is if it drops a good flask, sometimes it'll just break it right away, but I'm also lazy, so make that decision for yourself. Perk, dupe Levitation Trail, and kill Colmy with it. Levitation Trail's not... That one's kind of annoying to deal with because it does mess up any shields that you have. And then it also kind of craps on the bitrate. I'm trying to decide if I want to grab that shield at all. Hmm. I don't think I've know of this new duping. Well, this isn't really new duping. It's an old method. It's just there's been changes in it over the years. Uh, whenever we get to that part, I'll I'll have to go into detail on it anyway. So there's no reason to talk about it too much right now, since you know the, it helps to have some kind of visuals to understand what the hell's going on. Uh, hopefully, in a couple hours, we'll be at the perk duping part, and then we'll discuss it then.
nude duping? No, not nude duping. We're not duping your nudes. Oh, shit, I almost fell into there. Don't want to leave the zone yet. We haven't even traveled through the far left side, which is... Usually got a heart, at least one or so, I feel like, or at least a heart or a chest. Collapsed mines. All right, we're entering the left side now. What I probably should do is put down the pouch and have at least one tablet with me. That's the smart move to make. I don't know if I'm going to play smart, though. A couple hours of foreplay before the dupe rant, then. That's how you want to look at it. Has anyone ever done a no-hit, no-gold pacifist run? I haven't. That would be a brutal combination right there. No-hit, no-gold pacifist. It is doable. It would, it would be... You would be at the mercy of RNG on that one, though. There would be a lot of skill and a lot of RNG going on there. That is a lot of frogs. Ooh, we gotta be very scared of those frogs. They could easily one-tap us. Uh, this guy's kind of stuck right here. Let him stand in the little cup, little bowl, pour some water through the ground. Easy. Our gold's looking really good now. I was all, I was a little bit worried about it earlier. It shows that you shouldn't make those decisions so early like I did. Um, I was pouring that water on that guy and I ended up getting hit for like, you know, 20 or 30 HP. And then in the end, gold ended up not even mattering anyways. I was just being... Overly aggressive. Hmm? Oh, I went to hit the box. That was a terrible shot. He's almost dead, I think. There we go. I got uh, spanked by two frogs on top of each other the other day. Just brutalized me. Yeah, those frogs, whenever, especially when they're stacked... I mean, one frog already can can insta-kill you from full health. Two frogs, if they leap at the, the same time, like if they're in synchronization, which happens a lot, considering their AI is the same, so they tend to move the same, uh, makes it where I feel like, you know, the odds of it happening go up a lot. It's not just double. I think somehow, maybe the way that they melee or whatever, it increases those odds of getting chain meleeed a ton. Just funky noita things. Is there uh, any cool mechanic when you eat a frog? You do get slightly high. Your character gets high a little bit, but um, I've I've never seen somebody use frogs as a legitimate fungal shifting method. It's more of a meme. Uh, just some goofy side mechanic. I mean, unless there's some deeper meaning that the devs wanted us to uncover with that. But all I've ever known with it is that you can eat the frog corpse. The character gets kind of like the fungus effect, but just for a couple of seconds, and then it goes away. And that's it. Frog plus whiskey equals berserk for the uh, uh, bridge boss cheese. That is true. Yeah, that, I guess that that is the that is the most legitimate frog strat. Which is a weird one. Frog plus whiskey. Which are two things that are not uncommon to see in the first zone. You see whiskey quite often and you do see frogs. Oh my gosh, that guy got me. There we go. But yeah, you can use Berserkium to still kind of cheese the bridge boss. S60 really enjoys did that, that strat, so that's why he's talking about it. Eat the frogs, please? Sure, where did I leave one of them? I know they were up here, right?
Is that a frog corpse? Nope, it's too big. I, I don't know, I lost track of those frog corpses. They're gone. Alright, well we're moving to the mountain. So let's get ready to continue our journey. Remember, you don't have to play these early zones so slow like I do. But if you want to increase your odds, because we're going to be having to do what's considered like a god run today. Where you can do just about anything you want. Uh, if you play the first zone early, you increase your odds of success and doing a god run by, by quite a bit. Let us continue. So I'm going to leave this pouch here since we're not going to need it for a while. Like several hours, I wouldn't think. So one thing I just realized that I messed up. I wasn't paying attention, but I actually didn't. Uh, oh no, I do have a, uh, a way out of the mountain. So never mind, I didn't mess up. But it, it, we actually have a second method. This one will also give us an escape. So let's grab it up. Do not like any of these perks for uh, the first perk of the run. So let's go ahead and roll. Huh. So more hatred. Where people have been discussing if they because we're going to be doing some negative perks today in the duping, and more hatred is looked at as for the most part a negative perk. Could be a fun one to dupe today, but I definitely don't think it's worth grabbing early because it will. It, it, basically, more hatred makes it where enemies start shit with each other. Like they'll start attacking each other. The reason that's considered a, a negative thing is that in Noita, you don't want enemies just, just causing chaos whenever you're not even there. Like, you, let's say I'm over here just doing my own thing and two enemies are starting a fight over here. Well, one of them could hit a propane tank. The propane tank goes flying around and blows up and hits me. And I'm like, where did this even come from? You know what I mean? Like, there's no, I had no indicator even being aware that a propane tank could possibly fly in and blow up in my face. It just adds in too, too many variables of chaos. Now, with that said, we may grab it at some point today, but I don't want to open up the run with it. Stainless armor is also an amazing one to get for, for perk duping, since it's considered maybe the best perk in the game to dupe, if not one of the best. And, uh, or it, it, it's one of the best, if not the best. There we go. That's the way to word it. But for our run, sorry, I'm kind of just mindlessly kicking this while I'm trying to decide a double roll at the start of the run. The two fighting enemies open a big treasure chest, dropping some monster powder and releasing the hell on you. I think I actually, that one was actually going to land in the right spot and I messed it up. Oh, come on. I don't know why. Sometimes I, I get to kicking this statue and then I just... I guess it's because the more frustrated I get, the more chaotic I start kicking it. Just trying to get it to fall into place. There it goes. There it goes. Um, I'm actually going to do a double roll. Some people will probably advise against this. Bets are closed. Yes, they are. Uh, ooh, and there you go. Wand Experimenter. So this is what those early rolls can really, you know, decide the whole fate of the run. And this is no different. Wand Experimenter this early, that's massive. Massive start here. So what we can do is we don't need to save this heal because every wand in this mountain is like almost a, is a, is a huge heal for us. Because every one of these will, Wand Experimenter will allow us to get a, a good chunk of healing. So I don't need to be careful. I don't need to min-max too extreme with the health. We just push forward, look for, look for hearts and We'll be fine. Uh, would there be a higher healing uh, effect duping experimenter? Yes, I believe so. I don't. I. I don't think there's. There may be a limitation, but I think you can get it with at least a couple stacks. I don't know how for how far, but we can, we can mess with it today. We can check it out. We'll check it out. Uh, actually, you know what? We should leave one of those on there to help us with the digging. I don't go insane. And let me glance at these stats one last time to see... That one's not bad. You know what we could do? It's gonna be kind of a weird one. So we're gonna empty out the charges of this. 
Come on. I'm trying to make it where it says zero charges. So now we have zero charges of that. We're gonna go spark bolt down. We shoot it right here. Fires like that. We're gonna put down a heavy spread and a zero charge fire bolt. And now it's a little faster. What's the spread on this thing? Oh, 21 degrees of spread. I didn't realize it was so bad. Um, hmm. There's another heavy spread there. I'm kind of wasting these wands that were supposed to be heals for me. Uh, but I don't care. It's like I said, we're gonna find so many heals. Became like once I once I got that wand experimenter, I'm like, holy crap, we have so much, so much going for us. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, double here. So we're just gonna have spark bolt spamming like this. That's pretty good. Unless we wanted to do this at the end. It's not like a huge improvement. It's literally uh, 0.07 improvement on it. It's, it's a little weird. Uh, let's just go with this. So it shoots one, two, three, and then a double. One, two, three, and a double. Let's go. All of those are viable. I mean, it's such minor differences. Just get a little bit of damage and charge forward. What's up, I Rage? Yeah, we did. Uh, we did actually watch the uh, the trailer. Wow, I got scammed. Let's try this again. Hello, is this thing <laughs> Hello? on? Oh hi, Wifey has been hard at work sweating her butt off for you, nerd. <laughs> I can't wait to see Butt Friend in January. Dumb. <laughs> Thoughts on new Minecraft movie trailer? Listen, you Jack gotta... Black is Steve. You gotta provide some context. You can't be just saying Butt Friend. <laughs> People are probably like, what? Listen, it's a it's a joke. When the, it doesn't need to be explained. It's not even worth it. It's stupid. Don't even... You don't want to know. <laughs> butt Friend. Um... Yeah, so for the most part, it seemed like chat, whenever uh, I was linked the the trailer of it, they were like, oh man, this is terrible, like this trailer is terrible. And I watch it, it's obviously a bit, you know, corny or cringy or whatever, but it's like marketed for a younger audience. And even if you're not younger and you still were like, oh, I want to check that out. Yeah, it's like just it seemed like goofy goofiness. It wasn't as terrible. It wasn't on the level of like whenever the Sonic movie, uh, they first showed off Sonic the Hedgehog and it was like, oh my god, it's a demon! It was more just like, eh, it looks a little corny or whatever, but I'm sure a lot, of, a lot of kids out there will like it. And a lot of adults. Dunk is shilling slop. Come on, I think you guys are harsh. I mean, there are certain trailers that do deserve, like, the holy shit, like, that looks terrible. But I wouldn't say that the Minecraft one is on that level. Original Trailer Sonic was definitely something I would throw a lava flask at. Yeah, it was, it, it looks like, give you some nightmares just from looking at that trailer. Slowly making our way through the early game. What happens if you eat a mimic chest? They don't give you anything, sadly. Uh, instead of instead of eating a mimic chest, you can just pour pheromone on them, and they actually will cough up gold and a chance for flasks and a chance for hearts as well. But it's really slow, and you know me, I, I like to min max and get as much value as I can out of everything. But that they're just too damn slow. <laughs> They just take too long. But if you're ever bored, it's kind of a fun mechanic to check out. I need you to die already? We 
Pretty sure Sonic Design was 100% a rage bait marketing ploy, tinfoil hat. Yeah, you could be right. I mean, you never know. You never know. Oops, I didn't mean to waste the healing on that wand. Oh well. No turning back now. Is there a hidden heart there? It looks like no. There should It should say... If, oh, holy shit. There was a... Is that another... It's another mimic. Already we found two mimics today. There is a ghost. This little dude right here applies like a little slimy effect to you. Nothing too bad, but there can be some dangerous ghosts. This guy is not really one of them. Come on, you. I kind of like that ghost. You like him. You like being hit with the slime effect? Explain. Is that ghost new? I haven't seen it before. Um, it's been around... Well, actually, I don't think that one was on the main client until maybe recently. It's been on the beta for, like, a year and a half, two years or some shit. But, um, main client... Honestly, I don't remember when they pushed that one to the main client. The ghosts, though, in general, are somewhat rare. So even if you have played for, like, the last two years and you still haven't, like, seen them... Um, I mean, I you know me, I play um, like all the time, like every day, many runs, and I've only killed 63 of them. So that should put it into perspective. It's not an enemy you see that often. But it, also to put it in perspective how rare they are, look at this one right here. I've only ever killed two of them. So th were these also just in April? So yeah, three, three to four months. So that they were in the, the patch to April. Uh, the, the April patch to Noita. So then that would make sense why some people are seeing them for maybe the first time. They're okay. They're nothing too crazy. Hmm. So I'll put up this wand. Hold on to the Lumi timer. You find them on 30% of YouTube vids? <laughs> Do I? Is that how it's been, Duke? Every time I go to record a YouTube vid, they show up. I feel like meditation cubes now. Those show up all the time when I'm doing a YouTube vid. Let's see if today's the day. We find another one. My brother was playing yesterday's daily run and, and he found a meditation cube, so... If there is one today, that's two dailies in a row. That's not looking too good, though. Some danger. What was that asking? Uh, what does the blue one do? The blue one is the deadliest of the of the ghosts. He is also the rarest. You take um, ten times damage whenever he is near you. Wait, five times? Did somebody said five times? I think it's ten times damage, isn't it? Pretty sure it's ten times damage. Dunk, uh, Dunk, what do you think of the reliability of the death counts in Gaza? <laughs> what? I think that's two. That's the... <laughs> I don't think I'm a knowledgeable person to be weighing in on this. <laughs> I think this is way too serious of a topic for me to have any, any thoughts on. I never thought you'd read that. <laughs> well, I mean, you posted it in chat. Oh shit. It was a hundred times damage. Yes, there was a um 
there was a time where basically this yeah the, the little blue ghost whenever he flow flow he flew near you you he apply effect to you right he applies his amplified damage uh, to you take 10 times damage but they accidentally messed up in the code and they made him apply the effect twice so it was a it was a a 10 times effect so 10 times 10 so it was a hundred times damage for just a couple days but the reason that's significant is you gotta remember that there are certain damage types that scale that are percent damage so for example fire the more health you have the more damage fire does to you well if you're taking a hundred times damage on something that does i forget what's what's fire like one percent or two percent damage uh, a second that means that he will kill you in less than a second. You, will, you would insta die if he's near you and and they're and you're on fire. You just fall over. It was pretty funny. It was pretty hardcore. Hey, Dunky Dunk, do you read every message? Of course. I see everything. What's the difference with the uh, Nightmare Run? Nightmare is, like, the spells all work the same in terms of... It's not like there's any, like, custom spells in Nightmare Mode. Your wand crafting is still going to work the same. But the way enemies work is they are a little bit deadlier because damage types are amplified. Uh, I can't remember all damage types amplification, but like explosion damage is like twice as deadly. So something that does um, 100 explosion damage would then do 200. I, I don't even remember the exact multiplication. It's just damage is amplified in Nightmare and enemies actually can get perks. Uh, so you'll see over their head if they have a perk. It's just random, but you can come across an enemy that has glass cannon. So if if there's an enemy that throws TNT and he has glass cannon you turn the corner as he throws a t it's a glass cannon tnt so he's pretty much going to insta kill you if you're low hp not even low even, even a good hp he'll light you up so nightmare mode can be a bit bullshit it can be a little bit bullshit but some people have mastered it some people are has got have got skills out there <laughs> What's your opinion on Poland's political bloodlust lately? Do you think it will affect oil prices? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what is happening out there? Am I in the Neutes section? Am I in the wrong section here? You guys can see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Drenched in sweat. Who dad? Fish is might with the 10 monther. Yo, appreciate you there, fish. Fish. Uh, I guess I might as well pick up the wand and just throw the TNT just to get the heal from it. Why not? Pretty slow start to the daily today. Nothing too wild, but I guess getting the one experimenter has kind of made me complacent. I'm just like, eh, I'll be fine. Haven't been working super hard to avoid all damage since I know I can just heal it up. Every one that I come across, I kind of have to take like a mental note if I just leave it there untouched, because it's like that's a that's a heal we can run back to if we need it. There's also so many wands that I doubt I'll need to. Uh, my chat's all messed up. Hold up. What's this? Um, <laughs> thoughts on the opioid crisis. All right. You guys are getting too wild in there. Chat, I don't even... I haven't watched the news in forever. I don't even know what's going on out there. I watch the Noita news. That's the news that matters to me. For the latest and greatest Noita developments. I am not informed.
Can you tell the weebs to shut their yappers? It's ruining my morning. Weebs, you hear that? I don't even know what you did, but Shadow King's pissed, and I have a feeling you deserve it. Not Shadow King deserves it, but the weebs deserve to be <laughs> told to shut their yappers. Shut your yappers. I mean, honestly, I'm a little angry with uh, some of the weebs, too. Some of, was it uh, Dark Matter tried to come in here and tell me Full Ma Alchemist, the original, is better than the Brotherhood, which, yeah, he's losing his damn mind. He's talking crazy. Sounded like a luminous drill, and it is. Uh, I'll take a lumi drill over the timer. You kind of look like the good soup guy. <sighs> what do you got? Let me see an image. Anytime chat says, I look like someone, it's usually a blow to my ego. Self-confidence plummets. Let me see what you got. Is this it? Or are you just linking a random image hoping that I'll... Okay, that's... You just linked a random image hoping that I would click it because I'm... God damn it, Andrew. That's Mr. Peanut. Oh, that's not Mr. Peanut. That's the Ilmenome guy. Mr. Peanut's a... Uh, planters. Don't look Kylo Ren. Oh, Adam... Adam Driver? Okay, you guys compare that one all the time. That's pretty hot. <laughs> this is... This is Germa? What is... I'm so confused. You're losing your mind. Adam Driver looks like someone drew Keanu Reeves from memory. <laughs> yeah, you guys talk a lot of shit, you know? You know that? <laughs> Got some good resources, that's for sure. Oh, a Tele Mage. Do not like to see that. Tele Mage is trouble. Where is he? Oh my gosh! I knew it. I knew he'd come back. There we go. We got him. You look like somebody drew Adam Driver from memory. All right, how do I, how do I, this is getting confusing. So basically, you're saying some dude tried to draw Keanu. Then from that drawing, somebody tried to draw me, or try, wait, somebody tried to draw Adam Driver. It's a drawing of a drawing. <laughs> it's Inception, but with drawings. Got it. Dunk, do you condone the censoring of X in Brazil? I thought that shit was kind of hilarious. I mean, I feel like there's no loss there. I mean, if you're if you're in Brazil, you're like, no, I don't have access to Twitter. But I have no idea what was the reasoning for it. Like I said, I'm always out of the loop. All I know is somebody stopped by and said that it, people from Brazil weren't able to access Twitter anymore. And I was like, that's random. I mean, they have VPNs in Brazil, I would guess. I mean, that feels like such a waste of like 
resources and time to even set up a VPN so you can use Twitter. I guess unless it was like your job, but if you're in Brazil and it's your job... Probably not anymore. They're, any marketing is not going to be done through Twitter anymore in Brazil. sucks anyways yeah I do agree with that it does suck Dung, do you condone calling Twitter X my main issue is that you just when I see a link it just starts with x.com I hesitate for a moment I'm like what do you guys link in then I were like oh yeah that's still the most ridiculous rebrand in the history of marketing. Hmm. Yep. Keep it going. Actually, you know what we could do? I like that. With that said, though, rebranding as X, maybe Elon saw the direction that Twitter was going because I don't know if you guys have loaded that shit up, but Jesus Christ. there's It's, it's just like a... Oh, I almost forgot. Look what I found today while I was out touching grass. Chat, you're welcome. Okay, I'm scared to click that link. He says, chat, you're welcome. That's a, that's a pass. But, um... I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched. Yeah, if you go around on Twitter these days... I mean, you could just, like, click some random article that's talking about, like... Uh... I don't know. Some new game coming out, some new MMO being developed, and you're like, oh, what's this about? And the comments below it, you get like all these promotional stuff for like uh, people's OnlyFans, and you're like, what the hell? And then like the comments don't make any sense, and they're just other videos of random other stuff, and it's just gone to shit, so I think that X may be a fitting title for it. Ooh, look at this wand. That is nice. Yeah, big dead internet theory. Yeah, for sure. It it's it doesn't. You just like people's brains don't work this way. This, the, the conversations don't make any sense. Nothing. It doesn't follow like a normal thread style of like person says this, person talks about the original topic, person respond like it, you know what I mean. Instead, it's like. Person says this. Person says something completely unrelated to the original thing. Person responds with something also completely unrelated to the original thing. It's like, this is... Nothing makes sense here. This is not a conversation. Yeah, so I pretty much don't use it anymore. Even though it's not... You're supposed to. As a content creator, you're supposed to always be... You know... Information on all platforms and stuff, but... Then again, I suck as a content creator, so why decide to be good at that one thing? Why to be like, hey, I suck at, I figured I can just be consistent. I'm terrible at posting YouTube content regularly. I'm terrible about posting Twitter content regularly. What are you going to build on the new wand? Mm, probably just some uh, spark timer into a dig bolt. We'll see how much uh, damage we're able to hold on that thing. Really depends. Just get the... Doo -doo. X Savant. <laughs> what? It's 
Strobeski, thank you for the 46 month there. I appreciate you. 46 months of sweatiness. That was a telly mage that's jumping around right now. That wand is kind of meh. Damn. I was hoping to get that telly mage before he fucked off, but seems it is too late. He's gone. You see a telly mage jumping around, he should be your like one of your top priorities for getting rid of him. Cause he's the highest highest risk thing right now in here that to, to getting me killed. He could teleport behind me at any moment, carrying like a nuke wand, and then I will be screwed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast a couple of these rocks on this wand to top off our HP. We really just need one, I guess. HP is topped off. What's up there, Overflow? Genuinely very happy to have the stream uh, to put on. Thank you for streaming, Dunk. My nights are, are genuinely better having a stream to put on that matches who I am. Thank you again, Dunk. Aw, Overflow. Overflow in with kindness. I appreciate you. Thanks for the love. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you're enjoying your Wednesday night slash Thursday morning. Hmm. Did you say thanks, mom? <laughs> thanks, mom. There's not a paid chatter, you guys. Haters, man. Haters. Wait until they find out how you've been hating on my rock uh, run suggestion for over a year. I mean, eh, eh. you're a great streamer. Thank you, McGumbo. Thank you, thank you. I kind of want this accelerative homing. Go ahead and grab it. There's some ambrosia, but we already have ambrosia. Gotta be careful. I feel like there's a robot dude missing. Yep, there he is. I was gonna say, there's a robot dude missing. Make sure he doesn't grab that wand that's next to him, because that could be scary. Damn, I can't quite reach him. Uh, he grabbed it. Jesus! Oh my god, that guy's got a wand. Oh, it's a digging wand. I need that. Well, that explains why that wand was going so berserk. Uh, we can just fire it off over here. I'm actually going to try to get to this dude right here if I... We got him. Uh, one question. Do you play with V-Sync on or off? No uh, your Noita looks so much more fluid and better than mine. Uh, I don't really do any special settings, I don't think. I think these are all pretty much the default. I, have, I haven't really done anything special for it. Imagine if that was personal fireball thrower, I would have been screwed. I would have been in big trouble. Uh, I just got around to looking at iRage's image. Suba, Suba Wu. Did you actually spot that in the wild? Uh, you saw, he said he was out touching grass and he saw this. <laughs> My god. The weebs are everywhere. Stream with 60 FPS somehow always looks better than 60 FPS on uh, your PC. <laughs> That's, is that the grass is greener kind of mentality? 
Back over that. Touching grass and breathing exhaust. The American way. Breathing in freedom. Hmm. Some weird fungus. Come on. Quick stab. Give him the old stab. Just came from your YouTube. I'm a big fan. Oh, thank you there, Vega. This run right here, if it ends up being any good, we'll post it to YouTube. Been getting all that YouTube love, yet I've been starving some of those guys. Oh my gosh, how many telemages are there? This is a different telemage than the one that we were just fighting. I think it is. I think the last one we just killed. Uh, let me cast this just so I can heal up. Remember, if you have Wand Experimenter, you should be keeping your health topped off like at all times. Don't allow the game to screw you over. Don't even give it the opportunity. Dunk paid AI to come to give him compliments. <laughs> that would be so sad. <laughs> I wonder if that, that's probably happened. YouTubers forced to come here uh, because of forced uh, from starvation. <laughs> it's a it's a marketing strategy. How I grow my Twitch channel, starving them. Uh, that wand is missing, but then again, we killed a mage that that gave me this digging bolt wand, so it's likely that it was from that spot. Not guaranteed, but likely. I feel like I never see Wand Experimenter anymore. You, if you reroll twice today on the daily in the first mountain, you'll get it. Well, we have the because that the reroll machines are seeded, like it's it's random, but it's set to the seed, meaning you'll you'll get the exact same thing. Ooh, look at that! Great find for today. Great, great find. Teleports. So. Hmm. We're going to drop this Lumi Drill for a moment. I'll be back for it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. I'm well fed on YouTube. Yeah, thank you, Vega. You see that? Vegas. Let me pull this up on screen. We have a non-paid chatter in here. I'm well fed on YouTube, sorry. Wait, I don't know if specifically they're talking about our content, but the point is they're not starved for Noita content. There's content out there. Chat's always guilty me if you're curious. They're always like pretending that the the YouTube community is like malnourished and they're like, please, please, sir, can I have a scrap of Noita content? And I'm like, well, they get some good they I'll post like a sometimes like a six or seven hour long run. And then one week later, they're like, please, a scrap of content. And I'm like, dude, that was like seven hours. Some of you guys, I guess, binge that shit hardcore. I, I, I put out a video and you guys are like, well, guess I, I guess I see what I'm doing for the day. Bust out a seven hour long run in one day. My hair is so long, I gotta get a haircut soon. It's poking me in the eye. Why are you talking as though you're going to post this on YouTube just as an excuse to mute the weebs? We won't stand for the suppression. Alright, well, it is, you are a little bit right there. It is, it is a good excuse to mute the weebs, but it could get posted on YouTube. You know, it's possible. Uh, all these wands right here, we can currently get heals off of them. 
So what I'll do is I'll drop the spells to the ground directly. By doing this, well, I guess I'll end up ruining it, but whenever I cast this, even though there's no projectiles on it, watch when I cast it, I get the green sparkles around me. That's because it doesn't know that I've edited it. But then again, I wasted the heals by showing you that. But you get the idea. Uh, this will go, this will be our telly one then, since I wasted it. I don't need to save all of those. Pick up the dig bolts. I wonder if it'll better sustain if I did this. Yeah, obviously just slightly better, but not worth. Let's go like that. And... Actually, you know what? We're going to make this the Tele Wand. In case we find an Ad Mana, this would could take over as our main wand since it has a larger capacity. Better capacity. Are you in support of crabitalism? Humans go in, crabs become more powerful. I'm talking about feeding people to crabs. <laughs> what? Sometimes I feel like when I read your guys' comments that... I actually get dumber. What I'm saying is, chat, you're to blame for any of the stupid stupid things I say. Any of my stupidity, that's, that's on you guys. I used to be a normal human being that contributed to society. And now look at me. A man-child living the noise alive. Ow! Stupid mushrooms. Anything good here? A heart! Gotta love it. Hidden heart. So what I need to do is run over to one of these wands, use it to get a heal. And it's a good one to heal off of, so you just get the wand. Safe to use already. Cast it a bit. It's a really, really slow wand. Says the guy who spent three days trying to get a world record. Psh. What are you on about? I also spent 30 minutes whenever I was focused. You guys distracted me for three days. It wasn't three days, it was two days. How's it going, by the way, D-Fear? Hope life's treating you well. One's kind of like a machine gun bl a bubble blower. <laughs> exactly. Like imagine you took a children's, you know, a little bubble blower machine, and instead of putting in, you know, like soapy water, you put in bullets. Genius, right? Why has nobody thought of this? <laughs> okay, Kona. That's how you give kids a little bit of freedom. <laughs> Didn't you bring it to school? All right, this is taking a dark turn. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's not meant to harm anyone. It was simply to enjoy the freedom to be a gun-toting American. Oh, that guy's got a um, pretty boring wand, it looks like. This wand, I don't think I ever cast this wand before. Now we're full health again. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother! Dunk, why would you say that? No chatter said that. You just said that on your own. Wait, which... what? NRA sponsorship confirmed. <laughs> Dude. That's a dark timeline right there. NRA investing in streamers. Hell, that may already be going on. What do I know? I'm just hiding down the Noitza section. Yeah, 
in COD streamers. <laughs> Get over here. I need to murder you real quick, Steve. Froze him and kicked him. Item radar. Telekinetic kick. We'll just take the item radar, I guess. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Uh, we don't need that. I don't need that. It's kind of holding on to this in case I needed it, but I doubt we'll use it. Hmm. I think Dunk's win rate has actually just bought him out since he won a Deathless Month. Huh? I've been farming dubs, man. What are you on about? Farming wins. Usually I would leave this full health for later. It's such a waste to grab it now. But we get the actual, uh, the, the, the permanent 10 HP from it. And we have so many heals that we get from wands. I don't think we'll need to save it. I say that and then I'll regret it later, I guess. We'll, we'll see. We will see. And to save wand space, we'll put that up for now. There's you. Let YouTube know that Deathless uh, September is technically on the line. I mean... Oh, oops. I don't even know if I want to entertain the idea of Deathless months again. Because you guys... You saw what happened last night. It took forever to finally get that Deathless month. Noita set out its, like, craziest curses. The moment you say you're gonna... You know, not die in Noita. That's when Noita is gonna murder you and find ways to do just messed up shit. Ooh, look at that! That was the reason I was having trouble let leaving that one wand behind. This one right here, because the capacity is so good. Well, now. run pretty much the exact same wand. And never run out. The red wand sprite is really good. Yeah. Whenever you, whenever you see this wand, it's usually like, ooh, an exciting one to find. Oh, I forgot to heal up, didn't I? Psh, I got so excited I saw an add mana, I didn't even use the wand to heal. I was just like, oh shit, add mana's here. Whoops. Alright, let's go find a wand to heal off of. Mistakes like that can be costly. Let's hope I don't get punished. looking for a wand. There's a wand. I'm just trying to heal up. Not doing anything important. That was an egg that had hatched if you're curious why I can't kill that guy. But the environment will kill him. Just a matter of time. Got a Nuko chilling. I throw this over to him. Catch Uko. <laughs> Whoops. Just got my baby killed. My bad. Uh, Uko, where are you? 
What happened to him? Is he dead? I guess. He expired. That's another way to say he dead. So we have uh, luminous drill digging, we haven't found black hole digging, but everything else has been pretty great on this run. It's, it's hard to complain about much. Oops, got myself a little bit beat up there. You guys can see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Boom. Since we do have a Lumi drill, what we can do is we can go check out the ah, go check out the next mountain. Wands. Ooh, there's a speed up. That's kind of cool. Pretty good stuff. Um a double on there for the second for just a second to chill and then we have fire immunity which will be helpful today since we're doing a longer run fire immunity when it, remember fire immunity is one of those things that i don't like to find it necessarily super early uh, because it does scale with your hp so fire damage is the weakest in the early game but in the early game you also struggle a ton so you may you know, if, you, if you're a newer player, it is kind of tricky to juggle putting out the fire on your character all the time. So I get it if you're a new guy, why you grab it really early. Why are you uh, uh, two framing a 12 mana cast? Listen, because you weren't considering the... Is that even... Wait, is this still able to be one framed? Let's see. God damn it. God damn you. That's Yolk's like, uh, thing that annoys him the most, I think, is the two framing whenever it can be a... One frame. I do it all the time, and every time he's like, what are you doing? Actually, wait, no, we're gonna go back to the double, and we're gonna rotate on that speed up, which is right here. Speed gives us way more reach. Yay. And we're good to go. So guard, thank you for the prime three monther. Poor Uko. Said no one ever. Uko deserves whatever death he gets. I wish there was a a stat where we could tell how many players Uko has killed in Noita. Because it would be a lot. Imagine if you had some way that was just like worldwide, all Noita players. As they died to like Uko, it, it almost like was like sending a gif of, of them dying to that creature. And you could just sit there and watch a montage of players dying to Uko. There would probably be some insane deaths. Because, oh, that's an always cast matter eater. That's an interesting one. These wands today are wild. Yeah, I, I've experienced some crazy deaths from Uko, so I can imagine if you're taking in all the players' gameplay, man, there's probably some insane stuff. A global death leaderboard. Imagine, like, you're leading that. I have the most bullshit death of all time. I'm at the top of the boards. No heart, 50-50 chance, and we got screwed. Sucks. There's some electricity up here? Oh, there is. That... That crap. Alright, since we're doing a... perk duping run... We don't want to spend too much time... in the early game, so... Dude, that guy was sniping from like a million miles out. What I want to do is I want to run over and... Wait, there's uh, my my item radar is pointing to something here. Oh, 
the gold pouch. Uh, we're not really needing the gold too much right now. I'm, I'm lazy. Uh, nothing there of interest either. But yeah, we want to use our wormy vision because remember you drink worm blood it makes it where you can see in the dark so then we go to an area that is always dark with our wormy vision i'm moving i'm moving Okay, bolt. Let me fire that off a couple times. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so this always casts. We may end up uh, going crazy with it in a bit, but for now, let's get this area checked out over here. Whoops. I don't know why I'm still holding on to that. Did I just hear a wand fire off? Yes, I did. Right there. So what we're doing in here is we got to be careful because there can be floating wands that will essentially insta-kill us. There is what we're looking for. And he's just chilling. Being all innocent. Gotta try to keep them alive. There's two heart mages in here, actually. Sweet. Okay, it's not that uncommon of a spawn in here. It's worth checking. But you do want to have the wormy vision or just something to see in this darkness. Whatever that is for you. Because this zone is scary. May not look it right now since we can see everything, but normally these are all stuff that are just shooting at you from from nothing. This is just oh, something's got a kind of a crazy wand. Oh shit! Oh fuck! That was a near death moment. Um, basically, that thing is shooting off freezing gaze, and the freezing gaze. What makes it so dangerous is that it freezes you. And once he hits you with it and you're, and you're frozen, usually the attack rate of the wand is fast enough that he'll attack again before the freeze. Um, well, I guess depending on how, you know, because you can't stack the freezes. But the point is, like, you'll unfreeze and refreeze immediately depending on, like, how he's spacing out the attacks from freezing gaze. So it'll just go freeze, freeze, freeze. You just, you just froze it in place as he just stun locks you to hell. So what we want to do is we want to put these wands somewhere where we shouldn't get killed by it. And you don't have to do this, by the way. This this little move that I'm making over here, going to the side thing, I do it every once in a while. Usually when I'm trying to take a run a little more serious. Because Noita is all about knowing the options to like make the run into a god run as quick as possible. And uh, a lot of days you won't see me do this just because I'm... Well, I still want to get a god run going. It's not like, oh shit, I like, you know, today I need to... Make sure I use every trick I got in the book to ensure a fun, good long run. But today is one of those days. Let's ensure a good god run. So we threw him our Tele Wand. And then once we threw it to him, uh, we are going to bring him over to the orb over here. Make sure if you're going to throw him your Tele Wand, don't use like a chainsaw or luminous drill kind of Tele Wand. Because then he'll just shred you. Which a lot of players do forget about that. And then now that we're down here, I want to kick him. There we go. We kicked him. So we drop the wand. Over here. And we begin to stack up the hits. So our health bar is going to keep getting halved every time he hits us. Hits us. Half. Half. 
half. And at this point, once you're below 10, you're not supposed to gain uh, from any more stacks. So what we're going to do is we're just going to grab the heart. And uh, you know what? I should probably keep the ambrosia on me just in case. Make sure no ghost comes floating in here. Then we'll let these expire. Now, what you could do, and what I, if I was smart, what I would have done is whenever my health's really low, so while that heart mage gets our health low, we will use one of these new wands to top off our health. And then from there, um, whenever the health expires, it'll keep your health bar full. So that was kind of a little bit silly and, and inefficient by me, especially because I already grabbed the next level's heal. But there are, we have other options, so there, there's another heart mage in here, I guess, if we really wanted to. Um, we could do that. Hmm, do we want to do that? Let's see. Yeah, that's what Chad's orange moose is like. You should have saved your heal wand. Yeah, it was a mistake. It was inefficient. Let me quickly see if I can fix that. There's the dark cave heal if we wanted to. Because we have two heart mages in there. We should have two heart mages. Oh, there's an Uko. Alright, so we pick up this wand. This wand is a heal. Now these heal, the wand experimenter, the downfall with it is that it doesn't scale. It's the healing that it does is a flat heal. If you want to know the exact amount, um, let's see... Uh, if we go to the Noita Wiki and go to Wand Experimenter, doop doop, you can actually see it tells you. Oops, let me zoom back a little bit. Right here, there's there's how you can see the heals that you get. Total healed from a shuffle wand is 104 health. Total from a non-shuffle is 69 HP, which Chad always likes as a nice, but yeah, nice. And it does. Uh, let's see. It says stacks, yes. Can't, can't, we'll have to find out later how much we can stack that and get benefit from it. Hmm. Nice. Uh, in just a moment, we'll have uh, the, the little shop. Let me finish my little task here, and then I can set up the shop. Is that the other mage? Heart mage? Yes, that is. So we Ambrosia up again. Make sure you Ambrosia anytime you're messing with this Heart Mage. Because he does do damage on his attacks. It's just a little bit of damage. But whenever your health is really low, like you'll see in a moment. Just like we're going to be able to use this to heal up. This guy would one-shot us if we did not have Ambrosia on us. So what we do is we uh, use like the, the small heal from this wand top off our health so now when this expires this didn't add any perma hp to us this was just getting our health bar healed up and i didn't have to kill off the mages i was more just goofing around oops toxic sludge bit annoying when you get this much health all right apparently this toxic sludge is permanent <laughs> wouldn't get off of me i had to pour out half my flask there uh scoop this up and one more thing that we should do before we move on to the next zone, and then we'll do our little small break. I'll get some water as well. In real life, by the way, not in, not in game. If our health bar is insane. We can be a bit sloppy charging through here. And the heart trick is not 100% necessary. That's just something to make today's run uh, more consistent for our adventure. But if you dig straight down, there should always be a wand room with two wands. And I just want to quickly see what we got going on there. Nothing to... Oh, that's why you do it. Black holes. Well, we have just about everything we need to... Uh, get going on a pretty crazy run I do have a matter eater wand but you gotta remember that while matter eater is very exciting uh, it does not dig cursed rock that's his downfall otherwise you'd see people run matter eater wands in the late game all the time uh, not that they would always be uh, always cast you know that's kind of rare but you would you see that you would just see the modifier used 
all the time if it was if it went through curse rock but the fact that it doesn't go through curse rock pretty much takes a modifier that is really cool and kind of throws it in the trash because it, it means outside of a one world run once you start going to the late game you're forced to get rid of it because cursed rock is pretty common it's between every parallel world all right it's also limited. Yeah, it's limited in charges, but Greek letters would uh, help take care of that. Or the add trigger, add timer can turn it into infinite. Because uh, if you put it in the in between the add trigger, it becomes infinite. Uh, but again, the whole uh, not working on Curse Rock, meh. I freak out so much uh, when I hear Zelda and chill music anywhere else outside Dunk Stream. <laughs> What's going on? The context doesn't make any sense. It's, it's lacking sweaty nerd. All right, let us you. Back to the action. So we are going to need to kill the alchemist so that we have infinite black holes. So we got to start thinking explosives or just any kind of good alchemist killer. Uh, double triggers could be cool to use on our main wand. Grab that. In a bit here we'll start discussing how do we set up for the perk duping like what exactly is going to be needed to to dupe the perks which for that um while i am kind of thinking on it it's you know i don't want to get ahead of myself too much so let's get everything under control first and i'm heading down to the bottom right that's where you go repair broken wands wand repair it is a non-shuffle actually and a pretty big one let's see ah uh, damn it the magical explosion ruined the wand it, well i was like damn this is an exciting wand right here but yeah scammed hmm Wait, what is this soul thief? What am I reading right here? I cleaned up the aftermath of a house fire recently. Can you please reinforce to your 1,100 viewers that everything will be lost and nothing will be saved? It is a devastating thing to have uh, to happen to anyone. I can post pics in Discord if people need context. Please replace your uh, smoke detector batteries, own a fire extinguisher, and have an escape plan. Actually, I don't know if I have a little fire extinguisher. I should. I feel like I got one years ago, but I don't know where it's at, which is kind of defeats the whole purpose of having one. Thank you for the reminder. I will, I'll do my best. I gotta get the smoke detector fixed. It's been a pain in the ass and also I'll grab a little tiny fire extinguisher thing. Here. $30 at Home Depot in the last 10 years for a fire extinguisher? Yes, I need to... Yeah, I should be doing that. It's the logical thing. Also, we will need these uh, dormant crystals with triggers. Uh, by the way, Soul Thief, I'm not sure if you're saying that you had to go through all that or someone you know, but whatever's going on, I hope you and your loved ones are safe, man. Who needs a home when you have Noita? Who needs a home when you have Noita? Yeah, you can just hook your PC up outside. I'm sure that'd go well.
Um, what's the play here? What was I wanting to do? Dormant Crystal Trigger. You'll see why that's going to play a role later, but uh, for now, I just need to get everything in place. A bit of Ambrosia. Let's do the joke. Roll this. This will be very useful today. Actually, both of these will be useful, but we'll grab Saving Grace. Double trigger. This needs to be a double because this is double trigger, so this will already grab it'll grab all three of these. On its own. stuff away for now. I'm going to put my multicast here to take up space. Um, this is supposed to go here to dig faster. Toss that on the ground. Yo! Toxic sludge! Everywhere! Is there an actual possibility to get rid of an always cast on a wand? No, there isn't. Um, I wish there was, though. It would be cool if you could do some kind of wand repairs. I think it'd be a fun mechanic just to have in the game. It doesn't have to be some really easy method. Even if it was a little unnecessarily difficult, it would just be fun to have some kind of quest that did it. Real quickly, we're heading over here, grabbing the wand. Yoink. Going in here again. So, dormant crystal with trigger. That's the... That's the thing we want. And... Ossie's on the ground. The whole idea of how we're going to use it later... I'm just moving this for a moment. I'm going to put it right back. Uh, the whole idea is going to be that we have a dormant crystal trigger... We put a teleport in it, and we can drop that crystal somewhere off to the side. You can throw multiple, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then, being far away, if you have a method to detonate these crystals over there. Whenever you detonate them, you see that? It pulls my character over there, because it shoots off the tele bolt. But right now, we don't have a method for detonating them, but we do have the setup to at least do it. So, one step down. I'll grab that. That's good. Uh, would remove explosion uh, work on this wand, or would the always cast be cast before that? I imagine you could remove it with modify in the sense of modifiers. I would think it would work. I don't know 100% on that one, actually. That's a, that's a good question. If we find a remove explosion, we could give it a try. There you go. This is a great way to kill... Well, in that one too, but... These work really well for killing the alchemist, so we're going to use that method. Easy alchemist killer. So this is a damage modifier right here, a damage plus. This is one of those that I feel like when you're still learning wand crafting, damage plus, things like that are huge. I mean, it's still, it's still big a deal for me too, but I already have good damage, so I'm not like super focused on it. Uh, but it's really easy to work with this. It's very easy to see how to add damage to your wands with this kind of stuff. So the reason I'm pointing that out is because just because I'm leaving it behind right now in the moment, that doesn't make it not a good modifier. It's actually a fantastic modifier. It's just in a specific situation, it isn't too big of a deal. Bit of lag we're getting there. Bit of lag. <gasps> Whoa. Knocked me into that lava. Be 
you're curious where I'm going, I'm looking for the uh, shop. It should be on the far left side because the far right side didn't have one. And there has to always be a shop. Oh shit, I shouldn't have killed that healer. He had a easy setup for infinite heals right there, didn't I? There's another alchemist killing method, but we already have one. Come on. Come on. Uh, that is a method to detonate the crystal, but it's not a good one. I wouldn't recommend using spells to black holes because it's going to eat up the terrain. You'll see later, but uh, yeah, that's not the method I plan to use. Personal tentacler, like I said, that's a that's a great. Oh, that thing flipped around again. Interesting. I guess when you unload it, it restores to its original orientation? I don't know. No, that doesn't sound right. Alright, so what I would like to do real quickly... To save that homing... These right here, we need to put this onto a non-shuffle of some kind. There's a lot of unstable polymorphine. A little bit of danger. shuffles that's a non shuffle that could work so what we're going to do uh, non shuffle missed the stream yesterday how did you like the game sir just curious and also lazy yes, sir. Uh, it was it was fun it was fun it was definitely a little slow at the start but I enjoyed the vibes of outer wilds and it was good I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna be playing more there Vinny I'm hoping that I I will beat it that's the game plan, Vinny. But I can say I've beaten Outer Wilds. But we'll see. Uh, that is a shuffle. Thank you, chat. That would have gone terribly. I don't know why my brain was like, hey, that's a non-shuffle. That is definitely not a non-shuffle. Chat just saved me from murdering myself. Ten, ten degrees of spread. You know what? We could do this. Whoa, T. I think I'm in love with you. No. Whenever I see you post a message, be it in Twitch or Discord, Actually, I feel my heart flutter with excitement. What? Your post is uh, refined fuck? and speaks words to my soul. Your effortless blend of humor, insight, and wisdom is like nothing I have experienced. What the hell are you guys posting about in there? What's up, Larander? I think it's just three thunder charges is enough to insta-kill the alchemist. I hope I'm not misremembering. We're gonna find out. Doot, doot, doot. You're a great streamer at Woke. Now I know you guys are full of shit today. Alright, looking for the background building, which I gotta kinda line my character up with. Uh, I'm pretty much lined up with it. It's kinda hard to see. That background, yeah, there we go. We're, we're slightly to the left of it, that's fine. 
And remember, whenever you shoot at the alchemist, you want to shoot kind of towards his crotch. Shoot him in the crotch. Sounds kind of like I'm memeing, but no, it's for real. It's just a good spot for his hitbox to get hit. Cur oh, shit. Terrible dodge by me. Oh, wow. So it isn't three. That or... Hmm, I may have just hit it wrong. Okay. I do not want to mess up this next shot. There we go. Um, so maybe, maybe four thunder charges next time. I think three could work. I, I may have just ruined something on the shot. For future reference, I'll do four just as insurance. This is a little backup. Not my favorite drops. Oh well. And shout, I don't know you. <laughs> As you shoot him in the crotch. <gasps> Stand back, I don't know you. Um, so we have a couple of choices to make. I could go kill the pyramid boss now. goes here. We don't need that anymore. I don't know you. Uh, let's get rid of the extra black hole. So zero charges there. That there. Our black hole one for now. It's nothing impressive. I know. You're not super impressed. Uh, excuse me, Dunkward. Is there a way to spawn plus immediately kill Dragon using some form of uh, EQ? Can we come up with something similar to how Bonfire did it by accident? Uh, some form of Earthquake. So it spawn dies immediately? I mean, there are definitely ways to spawn kill him immediately with Earthquake. I, I know the one you're talking about, that clip from a while back. You are you talking about from Bonfire? I mean, it's one of those that's, you know, kind of weird. Because I don't know Somehow how easy it'd be to recreate it. someone made a more insulting version of Wuoti's message instead of Wuoti himself posting it ten times I-C-A-N-T. Wuot knows he got himself shadow banned. He knows what he did. Somebody have the clip? Anybody have the bonfire clip of uh, killing the dragon? If you're, if you're curious why it's kind of significant, I guess, why it's worth discussing in... It's been a long time since I've seen it, so I can't even remember exactly how it went down. But it was like a, the dragon took physics damage, which is unusual because the dragon actually, uh, you know, doesn't take physics damage when he digs or anything. But I guess like when he first spawns for a moment, He's vulnerable to it, so it's kind of like he spawn dies so quickly. Oh, there's look at that. There's an easy access uh, heart mage today, it seems. Yeah, right there. So today's daily has a many times. This is the third heart mage we've seen, so many times you can set up some kind of crazy health situation. Uh, Catrillism found the link for us. Come on, vibrator wand. Let me through. No. That is definitely not the what the clip, <laughs> Controlism, But wait, hold on. What was he doing? Come on, vibrator wand. Let me through. No. Well. <laughs> right. You gotta focus up sometimes. Focus up, chat. Oh shit! I hit the wrong hockey. Hold up. I hit the wrong hockey. There we go. My perks. Controlism. Throw him in the garbage. He's shadow banned for life. Noted, noted. Ooh, piercing could be useful. That'd be perfect for YouTube. You guys don't know who that is. That's Bonfire. He's a uh, world record holder in the Noita community. 
he is known for his longer runs. That's like his more more of like his uh, interests, I guess, in Noita, his specialty. Long runs. And move this down, move this over, and this up. Looking good. Uh, did Wot actually find it? Let's see. Let's see if you guys are still memeing. I don't know if I believe it, but we'll see. Is this the clip? Uh, by the way, I guess you guys didn't see him last time. Let me show you so you know who Bonfire is. There he is. Some levitation back. There. <laughs> Wow! That just happened! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This this is clips from a while, but how old is this clip now? Two years ago. Um, I haven't seen this recreated though. But if you watch it, I have to do it in slow mo, I think. So the dragon spawns and immediately gets hit by a piece of rubble that was falling. Did 7,000 damage to him. Pretty crazy. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is the first and maybe the only time I've ever seen the dragon die to, to damage like this before. Look at his face. His face, whatever it happens, is so funny. <laughs> uh, actually. Some levitation back. <laughs> wow! That just happened! Oh my god! Did you see that? <laughs> that's so funny oh my god that's that's so fucking hilarious he didn't even get a chance to spawn yeah oh, i hope i hope this is the run i hope this is the <laughs> i don't know if that one ended up being the run <laughs> yeah he actually did a pog champ but yeah I, again i i that's literally the only time I can ever remember in my like five years of Noita I've ever seen the dragon die like that, like to physics damage. Oh, I'm sure if you really focus on it, you can come up with a method to recreate it. But in terms of having it just randomly happen, it was pretty wild. I got that deadlock invite. I'm finally a real gamer. Really? Were you searching that hard? You must have not been searching that hard. I feel like anybody who asks in the Discord and stuff, I think people just give it to them. Why use Fi and not Alpha? Wait, I have an Alpha? Oh, pfft. This whole time I thought I, like, I just remember seeing like Omega and Phi and I thought, damn it, that's the only two I have. Alpha is better. I, you are right. Hmm. I like it. Yes, we swap that. Oh yeah, wait, we can use this. Yeah. That is true. The plus 0.25 versus plus... Wait, no, actually, that's even worse. For some reason, I was thinking it was recharge time that uh, got added, but they say all do cast away. Uh, yeah, so, so it's a major improvement. Camera, old man. Oh, shit, my bad. Back to my corner. Back to the corner of hiding. Uh... Hmm. That's... Oh, 
Illinois doesn't consider the initial. Actually, I didn't even realize that. So in the end, let's see. So we shoot this fast if we use alpha versus this fast if I shoot V. It's just slightly, it is definitely faster. Oh shit. Back, you beast. Hmm. I guess for now, since we don't have chainsaw, any kind of chainsaw set up anyways. And not like we can, you know, we're not really doing that much. Just leave the fee, but the alpha will be easier to work with later. Build in. Um, I don't know. I don't think I want that there. Leave it there for a second. So you get an additional, what was it, 0.5, but you also don't take on the 1.3, so it's still saving like 0.8 or so. Toss, 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 toss. All right, so then we can rotate this bad boy in there. The enemies are being very annoying. Use a triple, move another dig bolt in there. We're gonna go with the five cast. One, two, three, four, five. An extra one there. Oh, we're actually losing mana. Hmm. I feel like Noitz is running a little bit louder today. I think I think it is actually. Oh well. I'm bopping to the music. I'm trying to think if there's any great builds, but we'll just do something like this. One, two, three, four, five, rotate that in. It is lower damage, but I figure I'm trying to put a lot of inventory stuff here. Actually, no, that shouldn't go there. Hmm. That's fine. Yeah, we, we does free up this. You are right there, test 60. Oh no, it doesn't. Wait, hold on. Oh, because we end up throwing on these because of, yeah, so. Mm. That's fine. Freeze, we're moving freeze in there. How about that? Oh wow, it's still not, it's still, still spinning too much. Interesting. Uh, today we're gonna be doing perk duping, so it's kind of it's kind of funny if you grab uh, greed along with our perk duping, we'll be able to take uh, our gold up to an insane level. But that one's more just like funny, like you can you can make it where you pick up a single nugget of gold that should normally be worth like you know twenty. And it ends up being worth like 5 million gold. Uh, or we can grab Hungry Ghost where it'll make it where we should have a build that's doing 100 damage. And instead we do 7 billion damage. Uh, that's, what, did I, what did I say? Perk removal? Perk, uh, did I say Dirk pooping? <laughs> perk duping. You're in my head now, Lane. Hmm. That Hangry Ghost. Let's do that with gold. You want to see the gold one? All right, well, well, Kirsten is interested in seeing a little bit of the greed duping. Because we have done Hungry Ghost duping before. We have done greed as well, but I just mean like, I guess the Hungry Ghost one's one that uh, we've pointed out in the past. Greed one, we don't really point out so much. 
My time with Eve Online has told me greed is good. Eve Online, all those, all that spreadsheet gaming. Does anyone know what uh, if you chunk dupe gold is forever? What happens? I don't know of any special interaction. If there is one, it'd be news to me. And nothing too exciting. Still nothing exciting. We shouldn't have this there. Let's put that damage there. Some interesting stuff. There's a better version of homing. Crit on oil. Acceleration. We got here. Hey, we got Tinker. There we go. This is one of the main reasons that we didn't just go um, over and start exploring some of the um, what we call Walmart, the overgrown caverns. It's because I was hoping that we'd find Tinker. Since we're doing a longer run, it is always nice to have Tinker. That will save us from going insane. And this wand itself is just straight up better than that wand, so... Yeet. I'm not sure I'm correct. What was he asking about? Some craziness? Yeah, let me know, Wode, if you end up looking into it. Let me know what happens. When I find Tinker, rev <laughs> revives from based. I mean, if we're doing a basic run, like today's daily, if you're just going for a basic win, you should not grab Tinker, because at this point... <laughs> You know, it's not going to add too much value to your run. But if you're doing a long run, it could save you a couple hours. I heard polymorphine go off. Where was that? I don't know. My me just blasting everything. Also, if Noit is a little bit loud today, I hope it doesn't uh, bother you too much. It's just all my Windows sounds got jacked with, and I've been slowly, over time, adjusting them. And I just realized as I was like playing this for a while, I was like, dang, today I've been like, you know, music's been bopping hard. And I realized, wait, that's probably because the audio was jacked up all day. Oh, well. Life. I put an example of how to do the dragon earthquake kill and chase check this. You could probably recreate it this run if you wanted to. Ooh, I would like to see that. I am interested, Conga. Alright, so Conga says... Let me full screen this for a moment. Earthquake kill on the dragon is fairly easy to recreate by casting earthquake and summoning him while the falling earthquake pieces are on top of his spawn point. Uh, he's even vulnerable to physics damage at all at all points in time. If you can somehow get a physics block on top of his head, you can see him take a few hits, which do a thousand plus damage. The second GIF is using a mod apotheosis, but doesn't modify the dragon's behavior beyond uh, having more health. Huh. That's cool, I didn't know that. So it's kind of, Dragon is sort of like Scout. He has Matter Eater filled around him, but he's still vulnerable to physics. Hmm. 
Noted. Still seems like, I mean, it's more of an interesting thing rather than like, oh, this is the new strat kind of, because dragon, Dragon's just too straightforward to kill anyways. His best strat. Alright, so there's Colmy chilling there. And what we can do... We actually put this there to... Just in the lifetime of Black Hole. Dormant Crystal... Trigger with a small telly bolt. We are going to place these here. So my tellies are stored right there waiting for me. Put those up. Actually, we don't need to put both those up. I don't even need that one, honestly. There you go. That should be set up much better now. Alright, we're going to start speeding things up a bit because we got an adventure ahead of us today. Uh, what was that? We had a new person in the community. Wait, is there any counter uh, play to polymorphine mages uh, or just don't wander around too much to avoid it? If you can get poly immunity, if you kill a poly mage, you can eat one of their corpses. And then once you've eaten one of the corpses, it then makes you safe from other poly mages. So here, Dune Beast, let me show you. Oh, I'll try to show you. I'm making myself good. Adventure is out there. Adventure is out there. Um. Well, actually, I need a way to see in the dark right now. I'll show you in a bit if you're... I, I may need to be reminded. We'll see. But I need a way to see in the dark. It's a little bit risky to go looking for a polymage in there right now. But soon, I'll show you. How do you trigger the crystal? Now, that's the question. Right now, I don't really have a great resource to it. But there are many spells that can. Uh, for example, Explosive Detonator. Spells to ask it, acid, spell to, spells to death crosses. I can't even talk. Um, there was a spells to black holes that I found earlier in the run that would work, but I don't want to use black holes over near Colmy. I know you're a good Christian boy free of vices, what but are hell? you telling me you haven't seen up? The hell are you on about? I have not seen up. <laughs> Vice, no vices. As I have a crippling Noita addiction. Top right. If an enemy casts spells to acid, do you get teleported too? I would think so. But I don't know that for a fact. Kind of funny though, wouldn't it? There we go. Do spells to X spawn on wands? I don't think so. Maybe as an always cast, but I don't think so. Dunk. What did I do? Why are you screaming dunk? You, oh, because you're tucked in? Alright, alright. Let me just move some stuff around. Close some nudes. Wait, we can't do we can't do ducktails. We're this is for YouTube. You guys try and get me DMCA'd. How dare you? I am YouTube. I am YouTube. Who do you think you are? I am.
sing it? I can't. I can't because if I sing it, it'll be such an exact, like, it'll be so perfectly sang. It'll sound exactly like the original that I will still get DMCA'd. It's, a, it's both a, a blessing and a curse. Life is like a hurricane here in Duck. Bird race cars, lasers, aeroplanes if they, Duck, blur. Might solve a mystery or rewrite history. Duck tales. Cool. Every day they're out there making duck tails. Cool. Beautiful car. Right, well, Beautiful. I wish you guys could see this guy right now. Crux. Crux with a seven month or says no duck tails. Unsubscribed. Oh, what the hell, man? What the fuck? I'm just trying to not get DMCA. Damn, that's cool. I'll troll the shite out of dumb, but leave the YouTube peeps alone. <laughs> Why is it that the normal dormant crystal uh, gets eaten by matter eater uh, with the one with trigger doesn't? That's a good question. I have no idea on that one. You tell me, Maito. You oh, tell me. I really me. wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Just noise of things. Uh, all right, what all are we looking for today? We don't even need to go to Walmart because we have everything. The resources were so damn good. Thanks again for the seven monther there, Crux. I appreciate you. Peachy, you too with the 41 monther. Just wooing the sadness away. Wait, what? Check out Crux's sweatling. Is it cool? Did he get a nice sweatling? What the hell? What the hell? Getting wild, man. Getting crazy. <laughs> right, and then right after it, Peachy's is just a little sweatling making cookies. Just chilling. Use this non-copyrighted cover of DuckTales next time if you're worried about DMCA. I don't trust your lies. Your filthy lies. Oh wait, there is no wand tinkering. That's going to be helpful. I'm going to leave that there. We are going to need that. I'll explain in a bit. I'll explain. Just got to get everything set up. Oh. Alright, well apparently we already found greed again. Watch now, you can't handle the video. I really wish you guys you can't see handle the truth. Please for freeze for black hole. I got the freeze right there. I already got it covered. In a loss with the Prime Seven Month. There, appreciate you there, in a loss. In a loss. Oh shit. Um. I guess we'll pick up a gamma. Why not? Keep heading down. I'm 
chainsaws right there. That's pretty interesting. Some nukes and some other randomness. Bearable. Don't need it. Damn. Some crappy perks over here. Oh, well, I wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Drenched in sweat. Unlimited spells, sure. Uh, okay, so now it goes back to being an alpha. this up throughout that it had charges because we grabbed uh, unlimited spells I guess we could just go down to hell, get our ability to warp to the dormant crystals, and then start perk duping. Yep, we're still on the daily run. Doing our daily. Dissolve powders doesn't mess with the silver, so we should be fine. Ooh, stay away from that. That's lag. That is some lag. Oh my goodness. Way too close. Drop in the reroll machines? No, no, no. I was I may have accidentally did one earlier, but it was not intentional. grab stronger hearts it's kind of a funny one to do but what does grab toxic immunity get that toxic immunity gotta watch for any poly mages or anything oh there's a heart mage So now we're going to move a freeze onto our black hole wand because we're heading down to hell. the hell orb, but we don't need that. Oh, shit. Just realized that I haven't got a, any kind of good sustain down here besides experiment or wa experimental wands, which there's no wands down here.
Alright, go to the far right wall. Uh, go off of the wall slightly and then drop down. We hit this. What do we got? A lot of nonsense, it looks like. There's a white hole. Kind of interesting. Let's check the other floating island. What the... There. Cessation, that could save us doing the quest. Divide by, that'll save us a bit of time as well. Now we just need like spells to acid, spells to to death crosses. Damn. Put triple on tell you one. I have an extra triple here. And the mana cost earlier was kind of scamming me. Let's see if it actually can sustain one triple. No, see like it actually spins it. Is it like too bad? That is kind of annoying. Spells to saw blades. I'd prefer to not do spells to saw blade. It could work. Same reason I didn't grab spells to black holes. That they work as well. I just don't want. I'd rather not use them for this. I'd rather get something that doesn't just tear up the whole place. HP is not looking great. There we go. Spells to acid. Nice find. Uh, heavy spread. You're out. And is there anything else we need while we're down here? I don't think so. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. Let's get out of here before I get myself in too much trouble. Touch of blood for the altar. Ooh, you're kind of a genius. How much was that one? All right, for the moment we need to swap this freeze on here to get these guys to stop bleeding all over the place. to acid minus the Sid. <laughs> minus the Sid. Um, kind of annoying that the way my wand set up right now doesn't cast it too well. But uh, all right. So whenever I cast spells to acid, do you remember earlier I had uh, put those crystals down on the ground with teleport stored inside of it? You remember that hours ago? And I said, well, actually that one wasn't hours hours ago. That was probably about. 30 or 40 minutes ago, right? Anyways, spells to acid. We cast it. We we just, I would put it just there. It's just this wand doesn't have enough mana to cast it. So I have to throw it here for a second. We cast it. And it warps us all the way back to where I had left those crystals on the, on the uh, ground. Waiting for us. And then we're going to put some replacement ones here. In case we need them. And I need to find a better wand to use instead of this one soon. Hmm. Spells to ass.
Yeah, Walmart, I think you're right, Destiny Trigger. Old man can't keep track of time. Color me surprised. <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember how long it was. I don't think it was that long I had placed it. Though I had talked about it, but I hadn't placed it until not too long ago. So we have easy access to blood. We need to probably set up a way to farm the silver, which won't be too hard. Um, I'll pour out some of the jelly here. Spirits for altar in the shop. Oh, there was? Wait. Spirits. Did you already see one? Wait, I've been saying the same thing. Oh shit. You guys a hero? You are right. Thank you for paying attention. You're paying better attention than I am. Uh, so now what we can do... Mega, we can leave you there for now. Alright, so we have access to blood, we have access to whiskey. We probably have to do the Mimikium quest anyways at this point, don't we? Silver always a pain in the ass. It's not too bad. It is it is a little bit annoying actually. But it's not too bad. Thanks to thanks to see him Mimikium, kinda changed the whole you know issues with it that I used to have. But it still is a bit annoying. It is a it's a little bit of a pain. Yeah, we need to go grab a pouch. I'm just trying to decide if we want to do Mimikium to make tons of silver, or do we just... Will we just be satisfied with using the Chaotic Poly method? Farming some up. So we need to find a Chaotic Poly flask. That's for sure. And we already know where a pouch is. And I need to grab a decent one. Do Mimikium for YouTube? That is a good point. Gotta think of the YouTube peeps. You're thinking like a, an actual content creator, unlike me. <laughs> yeah, we could do the Mimikium quest real fast just because it is that easy. I mean, the, you can do... There's, I've seen people do the Mimikium quest and they haven't even gone to one holy mountain. Well, I mean... Usually you may have to do like an edit to your telly wand or some shit to keep you from going crazy, but you can still, if you get lucky with a good telly wand, you can do it before the first holy mountain. Uh, heals would be nice. Let me just glance around for the moment for heals and then uh, then we'll get to ready to working on that Mimikium. Just, oh, you actually, you are right. You could tablet fly up there. True, you wouldn't even need that. That, okay, now you're a crazy person, though, at that point, if you're tablet flying up there. You're a little bit insane, but you could. Uh, for the moment, let me drop that just so I can grab this reduce or that. I've seen Snack do it right at the start of a nightmare run with a tablet. It's really? Worse if you start with like eat your veggies or vampirism. Then again, Snack is a little bit crazy, so you just you just proved my point.
I wonder if I should use the deer as a method for blood instead of the touch of, you know? Fungal shift for YouTube? You cannot do a fungal shift. Uh, if you do a fungal shift during this run, it could actually ruin the run entirely. Because you have to have three specific ingredients. And if a fungal shift takes place on one of those ingredients, you could delete it from your world. And your run will... you'll no longer be able to do uh, the perk removal stuff. Please ruin the run, I beg you. <laughs> Want me to ruin the run? After all this time, just to throw it away to s for silliness? Midnight Jesus, thank you for the 18 month there. I appreciate you. We had Midnight, we had Inalos. Um, what's his exit? I know you, no, I am not clicking emotes right now, damn it. Focus up. You could farm always. Uh, you could always just break the reroll machine and farm up perks like that instead of duping in the fungal shift uh, breaks, I guess. Yeah, but that's not duping, no. That's like the whole point of the run. Like, this is a duping run where we're not going to actually dupe at all. We're actually just going to break the reroll machine. That's, that's a totally different run. worth waiting to like the I think the heal will be our final piece to the puzzle our final piece to be like okay we have everything and even if something goes wrong I can heal myself out of it yeah, let's just do that deadly heal or a heal bolt both of these work for me right now. That is polymorphine that just broke. Another ghost. The one that reverses your controls. Wait, what the? It looked weird for a second. The the ghost actually got frozen by the black hole. So when it first started to fly, it was like at first it's it's this color. Then it gets hit by it, and I didn't notice that. When it flies back up, it's blue for a moment. So I was like, wait, what? I thought it was the one rare ghost that we were discussing earlier. I was like, he showed up for a second, then he transformed. But no, it was just the freeze um, modification making him appear. Uh, it is. This ghost that for a moment looked like this ghost, the rare one. Pinnacle. The pouch of gold, I think. That's not. Well, actually... It'd save us a bit of time. Any heal bolts? Any heal bolts, game? What you got for me? Some kind of sustain here. There we go! Just had to complain a little bit. That's all you need. Deadly heal. And I think I'm going to put it on this one. So let me just grab that off. 
and we'll toss everything else. Uh, deadly heal. So we're going to go ahead and shoot out all the deadly heals. Currently, the deadly heal, even if you were to bounce it into yourself, which I don't know how well I'll be able to do that. See how when, it, when I try to bounce it into myself, it just goes through me? That is because deadly heal on its own does not actually heal you. It will do nothing. It's not deadly for the player at all. You have to make it eligible to hurt the player, which we only have one modifier that does that right now. And that is the piercing shot. Piercing shot makes it where your own projectiles can hurt you. And that includes the deadly heal. But uh, we need something for uh, the charges. So what we're going to do is let, let's say that we were to use uh, Gamma. Gamma casts a copy of the last spell. Now the issue with this is, so we have piercing on a, on a copied version of the deadly heal. Watch my health when I get hit by this. You see for a moment, it kind of drops for a second. It's like it jumps down and then shoots up. Down and then shoots up. This is an issue because if you were to be at like, let's say I was in an almost died situation, right? Some, some near death situation in Noita. My health bar gets completely obliterated. Well, then if I'm at like 10 HP, it's a risk hurting myself temporarily to then get a big heal because you may end up killing yourself before the heal can take place. Instead, something like, uh, oh, I dropped the Omega down. I was going to say something, well, we could still do it this way. Cast a copy of every projectile type. So Fee will copy the deadly heal in this scenario, yes. And then we could use the Gamma. Cast a copy of the last spell in the wand. Put the piercing shot in the last spot. So this copies the piercing shot. Then we need this heal to get this piercing. We need it to have two piercings on there. That's what we're doing right now. So Gamma is going to copy and pretend to be one piercing. And then the other piercing is at the end of the wand. But we need both of them on the same one. So we put a large multicast down. It should... Um, it should think there's two piercings on there. So now it does zero damage to me. Basically, because each piercing that you add removes 15 damage. So if you can have two of them, it'll make it so that uh, they remove 30 damage. Which makes it where this spell that normally does 30 damage now does zero. So it literally can only heal us right now. Oh, that is true. We do have the divide by three, which is also another s more clean method of doing that. Which would be... Uh, divide by three on the piercing. And then we just shoot it like that. That also heals us. I wasn't even thinking about that. That plus the divide by itself removes ten damage, which is nice. We have multiple ways to get healed right now. We also have a null shot. I completely... Well... Yeah, actually, that would be fine. Null shot. Null shot on its own, though, just so you know, doesn't make it where the heal will interact with the player. So if you use the null shot to remove all damage, it just isn't going to heal you at all. So you still need the piercing in this scenario. But without the null shot, it does do that painful hit. Yeah, I didn't realize we had so many methods. You guys started pointing it out. I was like, oh shit, you're right. Oh shit, you're right. We got several. Uh, yeah, we'll go with the null one since that one is probably the easiest for people to understand. Either way, you put these, it doesn't matter. Here, everything's looking good. Black hole shots looking nice. We're good. Would that waypoint wand you made the other day also work for perk duping? Or is the the distance not great enough slash functions differently somehow? No, that actually would work uh, pretty great. The waypoint wand for, for perk duping. The only problem is the setup would take longer. but Because I mean, you gotta keep in mind. So this is actually... Um, if you were to look up waypoint wands, people consider the dormant crystal trigger uh, with a teleport a waypoint wand. 
Because a waypoint one just means that you get to choose the locations that you put these like these like you know portals down. Essentially, this is a very basic one. The one you're talking about is a more complex one that allows you to warp around the map without having to have like uh, spells to acid or anything like that. Do you see this cool way of making silver slash getting rid of chaotic poly on red for the day? I want to see this. What you got? This is this is gonna be exactly what we're doing basically today. This is pretty much the same strat we'll be using, but we don't have touch of gold. But same idea. Same idea, Synthetron. Dormant crystal trigger plus short telly equals troll dunk at uh end of seven minute north the other timer. That's true. That is your guys' favorite waypoint one. Uh, all right, we have heals. We have, we have everything. Time to start hurt duping, yeah? Time to dupe. Let's get out of this zone. Mystery fungus. Get the fungus out of my pouch. There we go. What we need to do is fill up our pouch to be 100% gold. Then uh, if we use a... science system here. Oh shit. Uh, maybe a little rough. I don't know. A little scary. We'll make it work. So then we go over here. We pour in our chaotic poly. So what we're having to do here is we need to make silver. There are three materials needed for the perk removal altar. And this is uh, the core like mechanic, I guess, of doing, uh, or the, the core, yeah, I'd say mechanic that's built into Noita that is meant to remove the perks from the player, but we're going to use it to duplicate our perks. And if you if you've seen this, I've posted another run on this, uh, on doing this exact same thing, like over a year ago. But today we're gonna have to, you know, kind of counter some of the latest uh, changes that have been made to it. But also, oh, we forgot to grab Peace with the Gods. No, we don't need with Peace with the Gods. What am I talking about? Uh, we're actually gonna be using a different method than I've ever done on one of my um, perk uh, duping videos. We're gonna be using cessation instead of polymorphine. It's a it's a much safer method for for perk duping, and uh, we'll discover. I mean, I was gonna, we'll discuss. Uh, the negatives and how you could mess this up as we get closer to it. There's no point in discussing it yet because we haven't created all the ingredients. So here is going to be where we get our blood. Here is going to be where we get our whiskey. And then here is where we're going to get, it, get our silver. We have gold. We have chaotic poly. We pour the gold in. Let me get a better spot. Pour the gold into the chaotic poly. When gold touches chaotic poly, it makes silver as you can see at the bottom. Mm -hmm. 
Why though? You have to have it for the perk removal altar. Like I said, you'll see you'll see that part in a bit. Smoke is kind of suffocating me there. We're just getting things set up here, that's all. Now the order of doing chaotic poly down first and then pouring the gold into it does seem like the best way to do it. If you do the reverse where you have a pile of gold and you pour the chaotic poly on top of it, what will happen is the poly will pull up here and it won't be able to reach the gold at the bottom. This way you get uh, way more silver way quicker. But do whatever works for you. Um, all right, so then we're gonna grab the silver. And one of the things that can be a bit frustrating whenever you're doing this is that we end up with a little bit of gold in there and a little bit of moss as well. What I'm going to do is spray out the moss if I can. And then we need to try to filter out the gold. The gold should disappear as the player runs into it. Let's see, 74% silver. That should be enough. But later, we may actually run low on silver. The more you dupe, you'll end up probably losing some of the silver while you're doing it just because you'll see that it's there's some crazy noise of sciencing that you're doing and usually has you have to kind of get some of the sand out of your pouch so then you have to pour a little bit out it's just it's not unusual to lose silver lose some silver as you're doing this so i want to have a way to get more silver without having to set this up every time not that this was that bad but it just makes it annoying they have to go find another chaotic poly flask and then you have to you know, pour it in in a certain way. Instead, once you have at least a couple pixels, so you don't need to have this much, we, as long as you have a couple pixels, you can actually use another method to get silver. This method basically says, if you have a little bit, you can make an infinite amount. But the problem is usually you have zero silver. You have 0%. Once, once I've got a little bit, then I just abandon that method and I use this method to get as much as I want. And this is the Sea of Mimikium method. Are we in a parallel world? Was that a... Hold up. Oh no, that's a, just a regular orb. For some reason I thought it was a curse orb. If you make molten silver, could you copy it? That's exactly, that's exactly the method to get our hands on infinite silver. Because uh, just doing that one over and over would get a little annoying, a little tedious. So go to the, the, the pool here with the the pond with the fish and head up and if you're if you need an empty flask there's always a flask of milk right here but i have an empty flask on me as you can see just chilling oh i forgot to fix my black hole wand whoops Bring out the flask. Kind of bop to the music. All right, we have the pheromone. Done bopping. Go over here. Baron Temple, did I go over it? Or I was under it. I was under it. They're all like lined up, so as long as you're not telling sloppy like I was there, it's usually pretty easy to everything lined up so you walk near this uh this potion on the ground and there will be a potion mimic so all you got to do is get enough pheromone on it that it gets the uh the heart once you see the heart then you want to grab the flask the only reason i threw the old flask is because i'm trying to get it out of my inventory so i can pick up this uh this mimic one um by the way here's a little tablet with some lore stuff it's actually referencing it's it, noita tries to make things sound all you know, crazy complex. The holiest ground is most fertile when touched by our water. That means piss on the divine ground. Like if you pee on the divine ground, you actually get healthium, which I don't plan to do that in this run here because we already have infinite healing, but the, it's healthium gas or helium, uh, if you will. But the healthium gas doesn't, um, it's not really necessary if you have access to infinite healing. It's it's anything, it's kind of like a slower method. They're making it poetic. I apologize. Maybe you maybe you're all about that. 
Maybe that's how you want your pea-related Noita secrets told to you. So what we're doing is we're taking that uh, Mimic Potion, which by the way, Mimic Potions were added a while back. It's basically in April is when they push it to the main client. And you just pour it onto these empty flasks. Specifically, they have to be these up in this, uh, this Sky Island. But whenever you pour it onto them, the liquid almost like resurrects them and makes them into a Mimic uh, Potion. And as you can see, once you have enough of them, you can see the background, how many you're supposed to get, which is, what's it, a total of 10? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, yeah. Once you get 10 of them, you get the Mimikium spell. Like that. One left. If you accidentally destroy one, just know that there are extras up here, so you should be able to mess up a couple of them and still be able to get the Sea of Mimikium. Now this is the method that you would do to unlock it in the first place, but anytime I'm looking for it, I just do the quest again. I never am like, oh, hopefully I just get it. Uh, it's an easy quest. How come when Mina pees on Divide Ground, they get healed but the holiest of by the holiest of gases, but when I pee on the church, I get arrested? <laughs> No comment on that one. You, you, gotta, you gotta take that one up with law enforcement. Let them know. It can give you some logical reasons. Can they break themselves? Uh, I don't think so. I've never seen them just like suicide and it, the, the flash just explode. But I'm not saying it's impossible either. Officer, it's holy piss. <laughs> Please believe me. All right, what's happening here? Let me think. Let me think. All right, so there's more to do with this quest where you get cessation, but we already grabbed cessation earlier. The reason we were able to get this earlier without doing the quest is because we had unlocked this in the past. So you, once you've unlocked it, you can find them down in hell sometimes. But since I was doing this quest, it would, it would have been super easy to go get the cessation spell. But that's for, that's another time. Today, we're not really... That, this is just... I'm trying to show you how you can utilize a piece of this quest in your run regularly. But I'm not showing the whole quest and all the details about it right now. Uh, also, whenever you kill these potions, there is a chance that they drop a Sea of Mimikium. Though we don't need to do that right. We already have one, which is more than enough. Alright, now to discuss Sea of Mimikium. So, Sea of Mimikium, what it does is when it comes in contact with a liquid, it mimics it. And even the tiniest amount will contaminate the whole pool. So, see how there's a tiny bit of water? When I see players mess this up, what they do is they're like, okay, here's a spot, I'm gonna cast Sea of Mimikium. Well, they don't think that once you cast it, it's gonna hit that water, and that now it all just turns into water. You gotta make sure the spot is completely cleared off so it doesn't get uh, contaminated or anything. A good spot that I tend to find be useful or is right around this area here. So you cast it. And it stays as a Mikium because there's no other liquids touching it. And once you do that, if you jump in it with other flasks, so like Ambrosia, jump in here. It fills up your Ambrosia flask to 100%. Uh, the Mimic that I'm holding on, the little Mimic thing, it cannot be filled up with stuff. So once you finish the, well, I guess you can fill it up with Mimikium, but you can't fill it up with other liquids. And that, and that to me makes the flask pretty useless. Because unless you're running around and you're just pouring out the Mimic stuff, jumping into like water, the reason, it, it, it makes sense why they would do that. Because they want to make it so that when you're doing the Mimikium quest, you don't accidentally step in a little bit of water and just ruin your entire flask. But it also makes it where once you're done with the quest, you really have you don't have much use for that guy. At least I tend to not have much use for him. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh yes, I need to go grab another potion, which 
we can go grab the milk potion. Is the mimic friendly to the fish? I think so. I don't know that for sure. The Mimikium flask will also go out of its way to grab up Mimikium. Wait, is that true? I don't know if that's true. Yeah, you could also go for the beer flask. You're right there. You're right there, Sesco. But we don't need the beer flask right now. We got our, our empty flask chilling. Um... So this is an easy one. All you have to do is you can fill this thing up with Mimikium. Good, good. Whoops. Gotta swap that back to a black hole. Go over here. All right, we go to this lava. In fact, uh, where do we want to do this? Just trying to get a spot that's kind of convenient to set up for some silver. This is a good spot. So, we have silver. See, I already accidentally got some random ingredients in there. So every time you get random ingredients in this, you need to keep this pure silver uh, for the perk removal stuff. So the way you do it is you just pour, and what it will do is it will pour from all three categories, or all. What if you have multiple materials? It pours from all material, uh, you know, categories at the same time. It doesn't matter about the order that you scoop stuff up. So, if you scoop up one pixel of dirt and then you scoop up fifty percent silver, when you go to pour it out, it'll pour from the dirt and silver category equally at the same time meaning it's very easy to kind of skim off the extra materials that are on top of like uh flasks or pouches same same concept uh, all right so we skim that off all right this is pure silver so what we're going to do is we're going to just pour some of the silver into here do 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 do, do. And this is making a molten silver. Molten silver. We can then get a tiny bit. If it's burning, that's still fine. We just need to scoop up the tiniest amount of molten silver into this flask here. So just dip into it slightly. And I apparently didn't get any. There you go. So once I scooped up just a couple pixels of Molten Silver, it hit the flask of Mimikium. The whole Mimikium flask just copies it and boom, we have a lot of Molten Silver here. Now, once you have this Molten Silver, it's also nice to keep a good amount of it going here. So if later I need to make some more, we know that it'll be sitting there. It's kind of hard to recognize. You have to hover your cursor over it and it will tell you molten silver. When it's like in this this form, it's easy to tell, but the fiery form can be a bit, a bit tricky. And you know what we could do just to be certain? We'll actually do some Mimikium on top of it. Um, all right, I did a terrible job at it because the blood was, oh, actually no, it made a ton, it made a ton. I just couldn't tell that it wasn't, uh, yeah, there it is, a ton of Molten Silver. Yeah, so we have that later if we need it. Mm -hmm. What were we wanting to do here? Oh, I know. Alright, so, Molten Silver. Pour out uh, a little bit of it, jump into some water. And you'll see that it starts to solidify that silver. Maybe need a bit more. Almost there. 
There you go. So 7% steam, 94% silver. So then we can go over here. And that's another way that you can regularly farm silver without it being like... I mean, there's a lot that you have to do, but it's not really complicated, I wouldn't say. Once you understand the concept, it's like, oh. And the reason you're having to melt the silver is because, remember, Mimikium doesn't work on solids. Mimikium only works on liquids. So you can use this with anything in Noita. If you have a way to liquefy it, Mimikium will make an infinite supply of it, and then you're good to go. So gold. Gold, whenever it comes in contact with lava, makes molten gold. So you can make an infinite amount of molten gold. Then you just need water, splash on it, boom, it makes the... It makes it uh, into back into being solid gold powder, which you could then pick up. Um, yes, and it doesn't work on gases either. Yes, exactly. Lysias spreading the advice. Yeah, it does not work on those uh, those gases, sadly. Then we go to pick up the silver. Make sure we're not getting it contaminated with anything else. Couldn't the stream title Noida Perk Duping Bad Perks Daily Run simply be? Noida Bad Perks Duping Daily Run. Do the two titles have different meanings or does your English just suck? <laughs> no, you're right. It would have been... It, I, I honestly was just kind of throwing something in the title. You are right though, Kuba. Would have been simpler. All right. Well, regardless of the meanings, we know Dunk's English sucks <laughs> either way. Haters, man. Haters. We have silver. Um, let's... Got a little bit of whiskey. Got a little bit of blood. Blood, whiskey, silver. Those are the three ingredients. And then I can move this back to being a just regular Tele wand. This is a black hole wand. that pool of mimicium that we put down here earlier we just jump into it with these uh, the blood will start converting over or the mimicium will start converting over 100% blood whiskey converting over 100% whiskey looking good you better make that the title of the YouTube video now, because otherwise they have no idea what we're talking about. <laughs> They'll be confused. Oh, what is he on about? Kuba's always on about something anyways, Vialid, so most of them probably are aware of that. That's that guy who's always yapping. YouTube will be confused that there's an upload. <laughs> Shut up. uh. All right, so now we are finally making it to the perk duping I portion really of the run. Right he and in sweat. the negative perk is we are going to do negative perks, but the first dupe is not going to have negative, and, and I'll explain why in a second. Immortalize me. What's up there, Ruck? Asleep? He's asleep. Uh, I don't have eat your vegetables. I don't have that high either. Those would be nice to have right now. Oops, don't be shooting that off in a sloppy way.
There it is. So this is going to get contaminated. It happens almost every time. Give it a moment. Enemies will roam over here. Shoot off poison. Yeah, all this crap's going to be annoying. And what I should have done if I had a brain is I should have grabbed the eye. Which means we have to give up Ambrosia. But I think it is the smart move. Uh, we can't really drink it too well right now because we don't have eat your uh, we don't have iron stomach. Hmm. Maybe I take the the quick side quest oh, I really to go wish get you it. You guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Let's do that. Let's go do a quick side quest. Uh, but yeah, normally I like to have eat your vegetables so I can just you can just drink up all the shitty stuff on the ground. Just eat it. Oh, get around. There we go. Uh, Core Gallum, thank you for the three month. I appreciate the kindness. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Do you mean iron stomach? What do I keep saying? What do I, what eat your vegetables? Iron stomach, yes. Sorry, when I say eat your vegetables, I I always think iron stomach and eat your vegetables is like one perk. Because usually if I'm grabbing eat your vegetables, I'm grabbing iron stomach. But not necessarily the other way around. Grabbing eat your vegetables without iron stomach is torture. Grabbing iron stomach without eat your vegetables, that's just whatever. For those in YouTube thinking, what is Twitch chat on about? His English isn't that bad, Exhibit A. What? Exhibit A? Oh, I'm talking about... <laughs> Listen! Juggling you guys yapping and also trying to teach stuff, you, you misspeak. It happens sometimes. It happens. The YouTube peeps knew when I said eat your vegetables, they knew I meant iron stomach. They're like, oh yeah, I know what he's saying. I get it. I get it. But yes, iron stomach allows you to eat up anything. You can even eat fire. It doesn't hurt you. Eat your vegetables. That's a whole other, you know, eat stuff and you get stronger perk. Eat stuff, do big damage. Alright. There we go. So now we bring out the eye and we're going to use this as our vacuum. Do, 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 do. Doing a little bit of spring cleaning here. So this spot here is going to want silver. This spot here in the middle is going to want whiskey. And this spot on the far left side is going to want blood. It's always that order. It doesn't matter the seed. It is always blood, whiskey, silver. Trying to get this as cleaned up as we can. All right, it's looking pretty clean. It it, it doesn't necessarily look that way because you see the splashes of stuff, but oh my god. But as long as there's no actual pixels there, it's fine. The the blood splashes cause like a little splatter kind of effect, but there isn't actually any pixels of blood or any pixels of slime here. It's just a visual effect. All right, let's begin. Oh my gosh, there's single pixels of sand keep dropping down. They're not in it, so it should be fine. We got to make sure that this is pure silver. No. Oh my god. You piece of shit. Are you kidding me right now? So you see this right here? It kind of accidentally got filled with blood. We got to keep that in mind. We don't want to we don't want to save the blood one for last because it may have just filled up the trigger point. 
I'll explain in a bit. Let me just get everything situated and try this again real fast. Alright. Uh, anything in the flask is not supposed to... Okay, yeah. So, the silver spot, we need to fill it up in such a way that we are certain that we met the criteria, which is like, we filled the spot entirely with silver. Uh, this right here definitely meets the criteria. So then once you've done it, go ahead and scoop it up immediately. There's no reason. It doesn't like have to be filled at the same time. It's just as it, since it's been filled in at some point, we can scoop it up. And let's make sure that there is no contaminants. Nope, looking good. For the good. four YouTube viewers who make it to this point in the video, there's a broom wand that can clean up stains. Maybe if you pester Dunk enough, he'll make a video on it in the next 30 years. <laughs> the broom wand's just so rare, though. That's the problem. It's, yeah, it's rarity it makes things a little complicated. Yeah, there's a broom wand. And it actually will clean up the splatters. Like, you see these splatters that when you... When you rub the wand on it, it removes them and it reverts it to what it's originally supposed to look like. It's okay if we lose a pixel of silver. It's just, you gotta do... Whenever you're cleaning up the silver, it doesn't matter if you leave a couple pixels of it in there. But the reverse, whenever you're pouring the silver in, you gotta make sure it's pure silver. No pixels of anything else. So, we did that one. Now, the blood spot. We're gonna fill this up with, uh, with blood. And in fact, I usually overfill it a bit just to guarantee, make sure, make sure I meet the criteria. See, this guy's kind of scary because when you look at him, you see all these pixels that are shooting out of him. Those are pixels of of copper. And you got to make sure that they don't contaminate the area. But it's safe to say that this spot here did fill with blood entirely for at least a moment. Brass. Did I say copper? Brass. Thank you. Mixing up my, my metals and stuff. It is a pixel of brass. Exhibit B. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> you guys are so dumb. Uh, Alright. So, we know this one filled. Oh, you know what I just realized? How the fuck are we going to do this? I have to throw the flask, damn it. I was thinking I had something else set up, but it's fine. It's no big deal. Just have to keep collecting multiple flasks. Unfortunate. All right, so we know this one just needs to be filled up with whiskey. And then what'll happen is, if we were to just fill it with whiskey right now, all of the perks that you see over here would all just disappear. I would have no perks, and then all of them would appear here in kind of like a rainbow fashion. What we want to do, though, is we want to dupe our perks. And the bad perk part is coming. You'll get to see on that in a second. But uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw this whiskey. And if we throw this whisk, this, this uh, potion, this flask of whiskey up into the air, and it crashes here, it'll fill up with whiskey. What we need to do is throw it, and while it's in the middle of being in the air, we are going to warp back to where the boss is. Now, there's going to be a lot of stuff happening at once, and I'll explain why we do it that way, but um, it, it is a lot to take in for your for if it's your first time seeing it. So, flask, throw it in the air while it's mid-air, we want to warp over to where the boss is at. So let's try it out right now. And to do that, uh, actually, no, this needs to go here. And we then need to set up. He did not set up an increased lifetime cessation. Oh, come on. I knew I'd forget something. Uh, I wonder if Null Shot, how happy I'll be with that. Let's see. And I can't test it. Because if I test it, I lose... Okay. Okay, this is a little... A little tricky. I think it'll work. 
your main world safe? Yeah, I know, but I like to do it from the main world so they'll understand and then I'll explain in a second. All right, let's just hope everything goes right. You know what, let's just move this to this spot. So the only thing we're needing to cast here is spells to acid. And then here is a cessation setup. We'll explain that in a bit, but let's try this out. One last cleanup from the eye. He's angry! Dude, I disappeared for a while, didn't I? Alrighty. So, what happened there... I know, there's a lot, but the reason I wanted to kind of... I was kind of piecing together the explanation is because if you weren't here earlier, then you're going to be confused at part of it. But earlier, what I had done is I actually placed a dormant crystal with a trigger with teleports right here. So each of these crystals is holding a teleport in it. Then, when you run super far away, if you cast spells to acid, it doesn't need to be like on this crazy setup. It can literally just be a spells to acid by itself. It doesn't, it doesn't need anything else. I just kind of throw it here just to have it somewhere. Whenever you cast spells to acid, all spells that are currently loaded in the world get converted to acid, so they get destroyed. So, this crystal gets destroyed, teleport pops out, it teleports the player. Pretty simple, right? Boom. As simple as that. Then, this allows me to warp very far distances in a single moment. I can go from here to here, which is not that far, or 10 parallel worlds, 20 parallel worlds, 30 parallel worlds, right to this spot. Both of them uh, are, any of those are possible. Oh yeah, because I use using my nullifying shot somewhere else. So, now you understand that I can warp to Colmy. Now you may wonder, why would you want to warp to Colmy though? Why is it necessary that you jump to be by Colmy to get the perk dupe to happen? Um, I don't know, I'm gonna have to redo those in a second anyways. Let me just, let me just destroy them now. Well, now I got I'll use I can explain this. So this spell right here is called cessation. And whenever you're doing the um the perk removal altar, you are removing the perks from your character. But if you can make your character cease to exist, meaning like you're you're gone. Hold up. You are gone at the moment that, because remember that flask is mid-air. If you were to pour it into it, if you were pouring it, the moment it filled up, it would just grab them off of your character. But instead, if you are if you throw that flask and it's in the air, and right when it's about to crash, you disappear. Well, whenever it fills up, it, tr it doesn't find the player to remove the perks from you. So it gives you a d all the perks that you currently have, but it, 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 it doesn't do the negative. It only gives you the positive. You know what I mean? Because you didn't exist. The player entity does not exist. This it, this isn't an example of you being invisible. This is an example of you not being in the game. And um, now, the way it works is whenever you're in the main world, the first world, you can perk dupe. And there are pretty much no negative repercussions other than it does bring in um, Scout to beat your ass. Actually, is it Steve or always Scout? I can't even remember. Point is, it summons in a bad dude and he's going to murder you. It used so that used to be the solution to to a player trying to perk dupe because what it, the game recognizes that hey, the player entity is missing at the time that the person is removing the perks. They're clearly trying to dupe. 
the method that was originally created by Twist was that you would polymorph yourself. You would turn yourself into a, a creature. That was how you'd make your player entity disappear. So by summoning in Scowd, while you're polymorphed, you pretty much were guaranteed going to get your ass beat. It was going to kill you because if you're a sheep, Scout spawns in, you have, you're, it's like the very, very difficult to survive that situation. But then they later added in cessation. Cessation is a same general concept. Player disappears, but in one scenario, you're, uh, you're vulnerable because you're a creature. In this scenario, you're not vulnerable at all. You just simply don't exist. So you can still use the polymorphine technique, but this one right here is a much safer bet. So while you're in the main world, and you use this technique, and Steve shows up to beat your ass, all that kind of stuff, you will always, uh, I mean, Steve can kill you, but you always come back. Meaning like, if I warp away, after a moment, I return. If you do this in a parallel world, there's a 50-50 chance you will not return. It's a coin flip. Uh, main world, you don't have to flip the coin. I simply did this because I'm practicing my setup for the, the what I'm about to do it more times in a parallel world. But you want to practice it in the main world. I would recommend it. So we saw that we warped to this spot. We saw that scout showed up. We saw everything worked as we wanted to. But there was no, it was not necessary. All the other parallel worlds, it will be necessary to do that. Does that make sense? I'm trying to, I'm trying to clearly explain it because some people may see it and get a little bit confused. Sometimes I do things not because you have to do it that way, but just because in Noita, there's always like a hundred thousand different interactions. So just run it in the safest way possible from the beginning. Don't change up your setup. You know, oh, I did it one time in the main world, but now I need to do my setup different in the parallel world. That's when something's going to go wrong. All right. You forgot one explanation. Read me. What's uh, what's the one explanation? What did I forget? Um, mentioned that sun soak. Okay, yes. So I'm still going. I, the rants not stop. I got to breathe at some point, chat. I have to... There, oxygen is needed to survive. Write that down. It's going to be on your final. Um, so the crystal, the crystal triggers here um, that have the telly stored in them... You would think, well, let me just place it anywhere in the main world and, and I'll be fine. But the reason you have to place them around Colmy is this area does not unload. So whenever I cast this spells to acid, it destroys all the spells that are loaded in. If I am if I just place this in a random holy mountain or random spot around the world, once I leave that area, it unloads the area. It loses track of the spells. It doesn't pay attention to them. Spells to acid will not destroy that. It will not teleport you there. Uh, this zone here, though, once you load Colmy in, uh, so once I, that's why I walk over to Colmy one time. That's the first time it loads it in in this run. It will stay loaded in. The only way it will not be loaded in is if I end up closing my game and reopening it. You have to walk near him again and reload it in. That's a little bit weird. That's You have to understand how the engine works and stuff. That part can be a little confusing. You don't need to understand all the details. If you just simply do what I'm doing, it will work out. Like if you recreate what I'm doing here, yours will work the same. One detail though I want to point out is that whenever I disappear, um, whenever I'm making my character disappear, if you do it without the extra, so like we just have cessation on its own, it's very short. So if you want to time that window of like warping back to the main world, so that the, the game doesn't try to perma polymorph you or perma cessation you. Instead, you're in the main world, so it won't have to, that, that isn't a threat, but also you need to disappear. That you're not gonna be able to, it's too, too small of a window. You're not gonna time it right. You're gonna end up probably either missing the window, you're gonna be too quick or too slow. Uh, instead, if you add things that add lifetime, so Null Shot adds a lot of lifetime. See, it says increases a projectile's duration dramatically. It doesn't have to be Null Shot, though. You could use other forms of increasing. There's literally a spell called Increase Lifetime. Things like that help it so that whenever you disappear, you actually disappear for a longer amount of time, as you can see compared to the other one. Uh, also... Uh, whenever I wait, let me see. This one actually works pretty well for, it's like just null shot. Let me see. 
Yeah, I guess it's not too bad. Uh, but if you put a divide by here, what's going to happen is it thinks that there are... There's one null shot here. The divide by three makes it so that it thinks there are three more null shots. So pretty much fill fill in every single spot here with null shots. That's how long it is whenever you use this one. That's why we're gone for so much longer. Do not use a reduced lifetime on cessation. You will permanently disappear. You started the explanation on chunk loading and skipped it and don't, don't act like you're going to go back to it. I was. I was. You guys have. I don't we still, we still have lots of things. That I still haven't covered many things. You could be like, you didn't. You weren't, you weren't explaining it. Well, you haven't even noticed that I did it. I've missed some other things. So one thing that I was wanting to point out here is that uh, there's, there's so many things to discuss. There's also things to discuss about how you could mess it up. And one thing that you... How much I think how I could show it. So right now we have these crystals sitting here, right? That they, they have Telly stored in them. But watch what happens. Watch this. And I didn't know this for a while. And I kept wondering what was happening. And somebody in the chat uh, pointed it out. And I was like, oh, that's what it is. So when I cast it, look at that. Those Tellys did not pull my character. So I'll show you again. Crystal trigger. Toss them down. Let's say that for some reason I'm practicing using cessation, whatever. Now when I cast my spells to acid, does not teleport me. When the player disappears from cessation and they return, you're almost like... Last time we talked about this, and it kind of makes sense if you've seen the movie, <laughs> but have you seen The Prestige? All right, <laughs> That's what's happening here. That is what's going on. You're not actually the same you. Whenever you exist and you disappear, what's happening is when you return, it's not the original you anymore. Um, now he's using some random ass movie reference. No, it's, it is. It is. Will you be the man in the box? Yes, yeah, see, Kron knows. Kron gets it. Kron gets it. You aren't the same you anymore. What happens is you're actually deleting your uh, original self. And then when you're returning, you look the same, everything, but you are a, cl a clone of yourself. You're no so that's why the tellies don't work. Because they're like, this is you aren't the original owner of this telly. So if you're going to do the crystal triggers like so... You gotta make sure you do not do, do not practice cessation. You gotta make sure that whenever you're casting this, it's only after you've warped yourself back to this spot. Uh, the Prestige is an awesome movie. It is an awesome movie. I fucking love The Prestige. But I feel like every time we're using cessation, it gets brought up because we have to explain like, well, what's happening is you're actually cloning yourself. One of you is disappearing. And then when you return, a cl the clone is returning. Move on. Okay. Um, I feel like there's all on. We got talking about so many things. Uh, the loaded in zone. Cessation. I don't know. There's there's more stuff. There's always more to rant on in Noita. It's one of those things that there's just so much to discuss. Um, but divide by on cessation. Divide by with like an increased lifetime. This kind of stuff is very helpful. Uh, you'll probably want to do a, a, a similar build if you end up doing this strap. So let's go grab our duped perks, and then we can begin to do the more risky uh, perk dupes, which are gonna, I'm going to do them exactly the same, though. Remember, I said there are some things that were not necessary for me to do, but I did it anyways, just so that I you'll see that the methods I'm using are identical. Just sticking with the method. Uh... The crystal's sitting there. Let's go. Oh, I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Drenched in sweat. Yeah, it's hard. The, the perk duping is one of those I jump all over the place because sometimes I'll be discussing the usual perk duping and then I'll remember, wait, there was a change that happened, so I should probably cover this change. Um, 
the cessation thing is not one that you know there's still there's still maybe some tech to discover with cessation because it is one of the newest spells in noita uh, it's been on the main client since april we'll see if more stuff is uncovered over time as you can see we didn't have too many perks but we did dupe a little bit so we got uh now we have four of the greed perk uh, which you can't see because my camera's in the way get out of the way camera Where's the greed perk? Yeah, there it is. Four of the greed perk. And we can grab uh, two of the wand experimenters. So this is an important thing. No, uh, I mean, we have tinker with wands everywhere, right? Tinker with wands right here. There is another tinker with wands. We're going to grab that. Normally, this wouldn't matter at all. You wouldn't give a shit about having multiple. You could, if you have one, you, you're fine. You can tinker everywhere. Today, it is actually going to factor in. Um, I know you guys are getting hit with a lot of information, but um, the, you'll see why that's important in just a bit here. My, okay, yeah, we got this, 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 this. I don't think we need anything else. All these other ones, there's no advantage to stacking them. Yeah, there's no advantages to any, any of those. Too much info? Yeah, I, I feel like I am overloading you guys with info, but that's why I'll, we'll, I'll give you a moment before we go smacking you in the face with more information. Let's just go to a parallel world and prepare perk duping again. We do have to grab a flask. Get out of here. Real quickly, we need to find a potion. Can. Oh, we can just find it in the parallel world, I guess. There are parallel worlds? What's up, Talonivor? Parallel worlds? The altar is a one-time use, one time per world, and there are parallel world altars, so have to head to another one. That's the reason they made the main world um, much safer. There is no, there is no chance of being perma polyed or perma cessationed, where you just your player never returns, uh, because they figured, you know what? Let the player do it one time. Let them dupe one time if they want to. But when you're doing it in parallel worlds, they're like, whoa, 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 this shit is too powerful. So that's when the game really tries to screw you over. That's why it's important to, to point out these differences, because somebody may say, well, I've done it in the main world and never had issues. Well, that, your luck's going to run out. Oh, come on. I knew that was going to happen. I just wanted that potion, man. Um, hmm. Screw it, we'll go the other direction. Wait, in parallel worlds, if I go directly up... Oh, I completely forgot that parallel worlds will have the, uh, the milk flask that I can use. That's perfect. Did that potion spontaneously explode? Nah, is my freaking black hole disturbed it? It probably hit a pixel. It looks like it just exploded though. That's why it's nice to use a white hole and black hole shot at the same time. Because their gravitational pulls will cancel out, so then it doesn't disturb the flasks. Okay, well, this guy's gonna be annoying. Uh, swap that. That's... Come on. I'm just looking for a spot to cast Seam and Mikium. Boom. Scoop up the blood. And I guess it doesn't really... We just cast that, I guess. Yeah. And then put the telly back. Grab the whiskey. 
And we're off. I never played Noita. This feels like a lucid dream. <laughs> Noita is out there. I'll give you that. Noita is crazy, but it's my favorite single player game of all time. I hope that other games will, other devs are inspired by it because I think that, you know, it's, it's, it's just one of those uh, games that, that, you know, when uh, games like to use those buzzwords of uh, emergent gameplay, right? Lots of games try to do emergent gameplay. Noita is fucking emergent gameplay. So emergent that I feel like, you know, it's it, it's supposed to be where not everything is pre-decided. It's kind of like things just happen. And even the devs themselves, I feel like in Noita, probably stare at some of the stuff the community does. And they're just like, what? <laughs> you did what? Now, they would understand that it's like, they wouldn't be thinking that's impossible to do, because they know that they created a game that pretty much the players can go wild in, but I, I also think that they didn't exactly expect you guys to, like, build world telly wands and all that kind of crap. What's up, Purdy? Do you get the spider legs? Oh, thank you for reminding me. Yes, I gotta... I, don't worry, I just have to set up... Oh, no, you're right, you're right. I gotta grab it beforehand. Thank you for saying that. Well, I'm not... I... Hmm... Damn it. I feel like I'm paralyzed with the <laughs> decisions I have to make. Uh... Okay, I, I left the no wand tinkering. That's what where we'll start. Hold on with the reads, you chumps. The devs made abusing the game a feature. Yeah, they did. They really did. They embrace it. Breaking the game is the whole game, yeah. Which is really cool because in a lot of games, and I understand it, devs don't want to see a game crash or have errors. But for Noita, they were like, well, if we program the game in such a way that players can't crash and stuff, that means that we're limiting them. Like, let them push the game until it's absolute breaking point that it doesn't say, oh, you've hit the max. It literally will crash an error out. That is a true ending in Noita, was the game just blowing up. Not five wanting though, or chess rain duping. I know, there are certain things that they say, whoa, 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 that's a little too extreme. You either die in Noita or live long enough to kill your computer. <laughs> See, Matt gets it. He gets it. Now, earlier I told you we grabbed two Tinker with Wands everywhere, right? I duped it. Now, when we grab no wand tinkering, if I go out here, you can see I can still edit. That's because the editing and the no the the tinker with wands everywhere and the no wand tinkering is like a plus minus system as long as you have plus one at least one more uh tinker with wands everywhere then no wand tinkering you will be able to edit everywhere if you have the equal amount of no wand tinkering and tinker with wands then it will go back to being normal noita and you can only edit in your holy mountain is that making sense we're good who asked? Oh, come on. Surely somebody wanted to know that. Surely somebody. Now I have to go get those damn spider legs. Hold up. Perk duping is just too powerful. Visiting an infinite amount of parallel worlds for perks is perfectly acceptable, however. <laughs> well, no. Perk duping, I mean, if you think about it, they, ha they left it in the game. They could have easily just you know, probably like one or two lines of code, and they could have made it where you couldn't perk dude. The fact that, that you have to do this craziness, I don't know if they necessarily planned that players could do this craziness to get around the systems that they put in place, but the fact that they put the systems in place rather than just removing the potentials, I think says a good amount about it though. My link is a Noita noob question. If it's actually not, you will live in purgatory forever. Okay, so I'm not even joking. Like I will, I will straight up shadow ban you. I will literally program a plugin that just does not read your messages. 
It's a wand build? Alright, what's he got? What's he got? Um, Dunk, uh, would this do enough damage to casually clear the daily? Wanting to know if the setup would do enough damage as is while being reliable to dig with. Um... Yeah, your issue is going to be sustaining that one. Let's see that that I feel like your build is is a little all over. But it would it would work. As for clearing everything, yeah, I mean you could kill everything with this, but it's just not gonna, you're not going to be super impressed with it. You're basically just spamming the spark bolts. You're just shooting three spark bolts in a group very fast you can clear the entire game but you're going to run into enemies right around the jungle in the vault area that just you seem like you're just sitting there shooting them for a while before they finally die but they will die um yeah i, I this is the way this is the one we had earlier today yeah i wouldn't recommend it i think you should keep branching out especially today's daily has so much good stuff but you could you could work with that one I'm sitting before the Heesey gonna go kill the Alk. It's a weird ass two frame. <laughs> He's definitely got a funky build going on there. But hey, at least he understands the concept of like using Lumis to get rid of Castellay. I mean, recharge, well, recharge and Castellay. He's getting it. Right now we're on the hunt for a couple of perks that would normally be considered bad perks that we're going to try to turn into positives using the perk duping. And I haven't even really gone into No One Tinker. I explained, you know, how we can still edit, but... Alright, so begins the shittiness that is the Lukey Legs. Oh god. That was kind of scary. Uh, my bad about that. Shouldn't have shot the black hole near all that ice. Ding, ding, ding. play spiders since we can't no no now is not the I don't want to get judged for that listen don't try to push your degeneracy on the innocent YouTube people spells to acid showed up here well I guess there was no point for me to go for it like I did do you need to restart after jumping for one parallel world to the next to for stability after a couple, it would be a good idea. Just make sure that if you're going to do a restart, you don't do it while you have those tellies that you need. So, like, I, I, I left tellies on the ground currently near Colmy. So, if I do a restart, I, my game will lose track of those tellies. So, if I'm going to do restart, I would probably do it right after doing the next dupe. It just helps you to do those restarts from time to time. Sometimes it's not necessary. Uh, but I'd rather do overkill rather than waiting till my game crashes. I'm only going to grab one shield today, but I do want at least one. So, Luki Mutation, no wand tinkering. I was kind of hoping we'd get one more negative perk. Since we did say bad perk duping. Or perk duping with bad perks. Hmm...
Yeah, we honestly don't want to get too much of the faster movement. Oh, I just realized the Luki legs. We're going to be stacking those. I should not have grabbed faster movement because the movement is going to get tricky. Uh, going with the dice is really greedy here because we really do need the electric immunity. And it paid off. Pays to be greedy. Glass can's a bad perk. We're not grabbing that shit. Not grabbing that garbage. Bit of lag, a little bit of lag, a little bit of chicken fry. Using the portals to fast travel over to the area here so I can save myself some time. We'll give it a moment with the enemies and everything, they're always annoying. Can you somehow bypass glass cannon HP limitations? Yeah, yeah. Um, glass cannon, you can you can have hundreds of thousands of HP with glass cannon. It's just uh, it takes understanding how the perk works a bit. It can be a bit tricky. Uh, the key thing to remember is that with glass cannon, um, your HP is set to fifty. Holy Mountain Hearts will still add 10 permanent HP on top of it. And uh, whenever you use the Heart Mage trick, it, the Heart Mage trick does still work with Glass Cannon. It's just uh, you don't get as many as, as much benefits from just having a 50 HP and doing the Heart Mage trick. However, all it takes is a couple of Holy Mountains, you know. You, next thing you know, you're at 100 HP. Five Holy Mountains, that's 50 HP. On top of your Glass Cannon HP, that's 50, 100. Then you do a Heart Mage trick, you'll go up to like, I don't know, 600 or 700. And then uh, maybe a couple more tricks. The point is, you can still crank your HP up very high. It just takes a little bit more understanding of, of how HP works in Noita, but uh, it is doable. How? What do you mean how? No problem, Fairlight. Duping Worm Attractor would be interesting. I don't know if there would be any effect. A damn sand from above keeps raining down. It's pissing me off. Get out of here, sand. Gotta vacuum this place up. This place is a pigsty. <laughs> no, we don't have a sweat leaderboard currently. One day. Are you curious why I'm kind of waiting around? Is because when you first load into an area, the pixels are kind of like settling, and you'll see these stray sand pixels dropping in from above here. See them? Really annoying. And if it drops into it while I'm in the middle of doing this, uh, it pretty much screws me over. Um, hopefully it's stabilized a bit now. Run around the, this in here and see if there's... Nope, no contaminants. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. Chill, chill, chill. Spider legs, calm down. Calm. Well, dude, they're, so, they're freaking out, man. All right, that should be a pretty good amount right there. Your silver. The worm attractor does stack. I wonder what for what reason? Like, would you, the worms really fucking home on to you? Like, what would the the benefits be? Get rid of that access silver just sitting around. I 
Some people have those fantasies, Dunk. I judge you. I judge you and your degeneracy. Alright, so we filled in the silver spot. Now we're filling in the blood spot. Do you see that random pixel, man? I don't trust that shit. Big pixels of sand. Should have been more than enough blood. Now the only one that remains is the whiskey. Again. Same as last time. Same thing. Apparently it's 124 max, so the worms can be 124 times hornier than regular. <laughs> My god. <laughs> what? What's the conga link? It's, is it actually important? I doubt it. Catrillism, aren't you living in the shadow realm? I'm pretty sure you are. Alright, this area seems pretty cleared off. We do need to prep our spells though. So the acid was here. This I set up the cessation kind of thing. And then, yep, I think we're ready to go. Uh, Alright, so boom, boom, boom. So I... Throw that in the air, press that, press that. Here we go. <laughs> Meanwhile, Scout's like, fight me, call me. All right, move that back. Actually, we know this is supposed to go here. Put it up. Around here for a moment. Clean that up. And we are going to do, just for stability, it's not a big deal. You don't have to do this. But uh, we'll do a quick closing of the game and reopening it. Making sure things stay as stable as possible. Quink says, what the fuck just happened? If you're just getting here, I know it can be a bit confusing. But uh, we are doing perk duping. Which, if you watch, you'll pretty much see the whole setup, and that's me laying teleports right here next to the boss. There's my tellies. I'm gonna, that's what I did before. That's how I warped here so quickly. And then... Uh, what do we have to do now? Telly's chilling. I probably should heal up just in case. Nope. Oh, there we go. Our tellies are chilling. Oh, 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 oh. Gamer God says, I'm so used to watching on YouTube, I tried to fast forward a bit to see what happens. Oh, come on, man. It just takes a little bit of time. I'm setting up. Oh, yeah, fun fact. Only one worm uh, can target you at any given time unless you have worm attractor or worm pheromone, in which, co uh, the case, in which case the limit is removed. Really? I feel like I've been... I've seen multiple worms try to, like charge me up on several occasions.
Come on. Damn, how off was I? Oh, there we go. I did it in the second parallel world? Oh, because I had to go get some negative perks, and so I just did it in that parallel world, right? Yeah. Oh, it's a perk duping day, and there he is. The grandfather of perk duping. He's that old. Twist is actually the person who uh, discovered perk duping. That's when he changed Noita forever. And the devs were like, fuck that guy, and they climbed out of bed to write some code to fix his discovery. I can't believe Dunk just called me old. Facts. What are these watchtowers for? Uh, quests? You don't have to do anything involving the tower directly that I know of, of any, like, you know, maybe top, maybe some top secret thing, but any of the quests that we've done, um, you don't have to directly interact with it. But the, the tower does have like a visual on it. Let me show you. I can... Chill, chill, chill. Yeah, let me... Where's that freeze at? I get myself killed. So, if you look there, you do see... Uh, you hear that there's like a little bit of music played and stuff? And uh, it shows you like a visual... Holy shit! Okay, okay. Let's not get myself killed here. But it shows you where there is like... Um, the, a little pond with fish in it, and it shows an island in the sky above it. I take it that maybe they put it there to help uh, people realize that these sky islands were added. Because if you are, are a person that plays blindly, and there's a new patch, how would you know that there's these random islands floating in the sky now? Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe that was the logic there. Maybe it's some, something else entirely, and that's just how I, I interpreted it wrong. Yeah, Squidward was pissed about that. He was like, get out of the watchtower! This is my tower. Oops, we don't need to go here. There we go. So we want to grab uh, perk lottery, this. Uh, the spider legs, we grab them again. So the spider legs, with each spider legs perk that I grab, the Luki mutation, the legs will get longer. And we definitely want to grab uh, both of the Tinker with Wands everywhere. Remember I told you because we, while we're grabbing the Tinker with Wands everywhere, we're also going to be grabbing the No Wand Tinkering. So we got to make sure we're always at a, a positive. We always want to have more... Um, let me move the camera again. We gotta make sure that we always have more of this perk, Tinker with Wands Everywhere, than this perk, No Wand Tinkering. It doesn't matter how many more, as long as it's at least one, like, at least a, one more than No Wand Tinkering will be good. Uh, get this guy off me. Also, we've been grabbing the Greed perk for fun while we're doing this. And I'll explain in a second about the no wand tinkering. What's what's the advantage of stacking those? You should be stacking the shields, but because it does uh, lower the stream a bit, like the quality. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's the bit rate actually will tank a bit if we grab too many of these shields. So I'm not going to stack those. I will stack the wand experiment though for fun. I think we're good. Hmm. Grab a few though. You think I should grab at least one more shield? Sure, I'll grab. I'll grab at least one extra, how about that? Okay, now with the 
no wand tinkering. Each no wand tinkering adds a 20% chance for blood money. So when I kill enemies right now, uh, there's a, I think it should be a 40% chance. I don't know, is, is it that high? Maybe, maybe it's not 40%. Well, maybe it is. There's a 40% chance instead of dropping regular gold nuggets, they will drop a red nugget. And the red nuggets is called blood money. It's money that heals the player. And they, if we get five of them, I think it should make it where they drop it 100%. I think. But every enemy that we kill should be dropping blood money. How many greed perks do you need to get infinite money? Uh, it won't take too long. I mean, with perk duping, I think just the next world or so, it'll start making it where when you pick up nuggets of gold, it's given us ridiculous amounts. You'll see. We'll, we'll get to it in just a bit. <laughs> you need some moderation in the channel. It's filled with bots. It's not bots. It's called brain damage. You grab too many greed, it can break your gold. Yeah, just like I think everything in Noita, when you grab too much of a perk, it can get to a, uh, a point where it actually kind of messes things up really badly. Uh, I have no idea how many greed perks that would have to be, though. Probably some ridiculous amount. I will gladly take the iron stomach. Save myself a bit of healing. Glass cannon. No, no glass cannon. We're not even explosion immune. Oh, okay, we are going to be explosion immune now, apparently. Our money's climbing up pretty quick. Strong Levitation does nothing for us because we have the legs. Uh, extra one capacity. Sure, why not? Probably Repulsion would have been the smarter call. But I'm liking the way the black holes and stuff are traveling right now and I'm being lazy. Doc, why are you so bad at reading? What did I do? Bad perks daily run picks up all... I said perk duping bad perks. We literally have spider legs and no wand tinkering. Arguably two of the worst perks in the entire game. should grab that in case we want to do some goofy stuff with it. I don't know. Oh yeah, well, I never ended up clicking Conga's link. What did he link earlier? Did he link anything? I don't know. What do you... I just worried at some point somebody said Conga had a link. I don't see any links in his logs. Chat, this is a PSA that Dunk always skips pinpointer perk, but it is in fact goaded, speeding up and reducing the spread of every projectile. I didn't grab it though. I didn't say it was a bad perk. Just said it was one I was uninterested.
I don't see any links. I saw one that no, no link said he was tagging at me. He had like specifically other people like tagged in his other ones, I thought. Why is Luki transformation considered bad? Not the transformation, the Luki legs are bad. Um, because they're just situations that you can find yourself in trouble. Like let's say that there was terrain right here um, and there's polymorphine right here. And I'd be like, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. And then something occurs that deletes the terrain right below me. Where my spider legs are connected. You free fall. You have no control over that. Your character just falls until it touches something. And anytime you have these awkward kind of movements and stuff, Noita, you want to be in control of your character as much as possible. You don't want something like the terrain kind of vanishing under your feet. Um, you know, catching you off guard. Can the legs be long enough to expand the entire main world? Uh, they can get huge, so you're gonna see today, we're gonna try to get them pretty long, but you can actually break, uh, they can actually become broken and your character can't levitate at all, like you're just stuck on the ground. So, let's hope we don't do that. Mm. I forgot to get... Uh. Let's see... We'll see if we can get this all fixed. <laughs> Actually, wait. Let me scoop this up. Has Dunk done any perk tier list videos? The perk tier list video is like three years old at this point. It still works, but there is some outdated information. So I need to make a new one. I've just been putting it off since forever. because it's, it's, it's so many things to talk about in the video. Like, oh my God, I'm lazy. Where's your whiskey? That's why I was sitting here like, damn it. So I could throw blood at the very last point instead of the whiskey last. I just don't like doing that one. Like that. Okay, what is happening up here? See, I can't even I can't even levitate up to check the where the pixels are raining in. Get over here. Oh thank you, Conga, for linking it. Yeah, there's the perk tier list. I remember when you said this a year or two ago. I know. Perk, perk tier list video is one of those that I've put off since forever. Somebody, the problem is, when I, anytime I look up a perk tier list, uh, let's see. Noita perk tier list. Uh, look at perk tier list site. Let's see, go to template. See, this one was made in, let's see, 423.21. That's a pretty old one right there. Um, I'm trying to remember if there's going to be some perks missing on this thing. Create a new, let's see, we're really going to this full. So blurry, need glasses. Yeah, and they're, they're like low quality. Somebody made an updated tier list thing Post it in the Discord if you do, like in Chase Check This. I'll probably more... I've been lazy. It will encourage me. If you want to take the time to make that, then then yeah, I'll put it to use. Till then, I'm going to be lazy. Is that the top? The top... Wait, what? At the top.
what are you talking about? Right here where it says like, uh, this was this is in 2021, and it says when you click this, all it does is it just takes you to the search thing. This is stuff that they post, not the not the creator, but the website trying to get you to create. See, like video game tier list templates and stuff. Uh, it's just trying to get you to make tier lists. Mm. Yeah, no problem there, Cork. Why is the tier list in 144p? I have no idea why it's so low quality. I am not sure. Alright, let's start clearing this up then, I guess. Silver, wait. Gotta make sure that was pure silver. Pure silver. Pure silver. God damn it, spider legs. These darn spider legs. They suck. Alright. Silver spot filled in. Quansto? Quansto? Thank you for stopping by. Good to see you. Good morning, good morning. Then we're going to fill in the whiskey spot. The old fashioned way. Should be more than enough whiskey. That better have worked. Then we got to delete all this. The reason I delete all the stuff off the side as well is because whenever the blood moves, it'll displace stuff. You do not want it to displace some of that whiskey into this, con this, this spot here. Alright, looking pretty good, I'd say. Bring out the blood flask, pure blood. Actually missing a little bit of blood. Oh, are you... What the fuck? I feel like there's an enemy just up there dousing this area in gasoline and fire and shit. Screw that guy. Alright, let's try this again. So it's gonna need to go. This goes here. Acid gets rotated in. That's that. That. One, two. All right, this, we throw it. This time it left. So whenever whenever it says you anger the gods and it does all that, so we know the perk duping worked correctly. Um, but sometimes Steve gets pulled to your character. Sometimes it stays there. That part's just random. You don't know his positioning. But in this case, he, he stayed there, and that is fine. It doesn't really affect us too much, like at all, really. But I know some of you would be curious, be like, why didn't Steve show up? One, two, three. Looking good. Put that up. And we are... Out of here. Tier list and chase check this. Wait, you already made one? That was like two seconds. How the fuck did you go so fast? Got a hacker in here? The biggest waifu list tier list maker. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mike. I scrolled down. I, I don't know if I may have scrolled into something TOS there. I hope I'm not getting banned. Oh god. What have I done?
<laughs> what have I done? Dunk, why do you specifically throw down three crystals? Um, I used to just throw down one, but every once in a while, you know, you know, like when you shoot a teleport bolt, and uh, sometimes the teleport bolt can land in such a way that it's kind of like uh, it, it, it deems it not able to pull the player there, so it just doesn't do anything. It gets kind of, it's teleport bolt every once in a while can be funky like that. Uh, I put multiple down to increase the odds of it, making sure that one of them shoots in a way that it will pull my character. It doesn't have to be three. I would say at least three. You can even throw down five or six. Sometimes if I'm if I have it where it screws me over recently, then I'll then I'll throw down usually like five or six because I'm I'm frustrated. But right now, not frustrated. So three. I'm not sure what is happening, but I killed Steve, and now my game is running at three uh, frames per minute. It's probably unrelated to your Steve kill there, Knight. You may you may want to pause your game and hit restart with enabled. That that can it's probably off to the side. There's probably some random thing that occurred that's causing your game to lag. Reset restarting the game will cause it to fix itself. Why do the legs lose their shit when you teleport? Yeah, the spider legs are just annoying, man. Why well, it's one of my least favorite perks in the game. What's up, Artorias? It's going good. Uh, pretty much the two negative perks that we've gone with for our, our perk duping, and but with bad perks as well, uh, has been the spider legs and the no wand tinkering. I was hoping to get something else, but none of them ever, none of the other ones stood out to me as like that interesting. Hey, I'm not already at. No, I don't think so. I'm not already at the right spot. Should be. What makes the crystals trigger remotely? I'm using spells to acid. Spells to anything would work. Uh, just the acid one is the cleanest one to work with. Um, see, spells to nukes, spells to giga saw blades, spells to magic missiles. All of these, what they do is they take all spells that are currently loaded in. Meaning, like, usually loaded in is, like, stuff that's on your screen. And it turns them into whatever that thing is. So in our case, it's acid. All the spells get turned to acid. But I laid the spells near Colmy because that area will stay loaded in. And oops, right over okay. yeah, that, that area will stay loaded in, and that makes it where when I cast spells to acid, even though it's not close to me at all. I mean we're in East 2? I think about to move into East 3. Yet the game still mistaken it for us being right next to it. That 60 put an actual one in there. Are you guys trolling again? Oh, yeah, it was just made. That 60 really did. Hey, up to date one. Oh, shit. I don't have an excuse to not make a video now, do I? I had these perk images upsized to 310 by 310 for a thing for Vex a few months back. So here, oh, well, he was he was ready to go. Yeah, not blurry. Quality. High quality stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll think of one. An excuse? No, I am not clicking TikTok links right now there, Shane. <laughs> I know you guys are trying to get me DMCA'd so I can play something with some popular music playing in the background. Last time I was record, I, I had something that I was going to post to YouTube about three hours into the run. Somebody was like, oh, yeah, is this you? And then I click it and it's like some trendy pop song in the background of a bald person on TikTok. And I'm just like, what the fuck? And then when I went to post it on YouTube, it was like a seven hour long run. YouTube was like, this is cannot be shown in like seven countries because of a DMCA. And I'm just like, oh, my God, all because I clicked clicked one of you fucks goddamn TikTok links. Never again. Now you have to edit it. Yeah, so what I did is I literally had to go back, 
removed so it took it was a seven hour long video it took forever to to process on youtube and then i had to so i removed it had to edit it had to render the whole thing and then had to re-upload it all because someone was like well you're recording a youtube video this is the perfect time to link this tiktok so i reject all of your links now because i understand you guys troll forever no matter what uh all right greed so let's go stacking the greed again damn how many of those do we have Check how many we have. 16. Not bad. We got that. Uh, we got the no wand tinkering. Spider legs uh, should be getting a little bit longer. There we go. Spider legs getting a bit, getting a bit thick. Nice, be nice. Now we have four dice. Holy shit. Uh, I guess we can grab the crit. There's no reason not to. Hmm. Hire me to edit this video for you. Is that... Do you actually do like video editing, Vialid? Is that a thing? I know you do graphics, of course. I do it all. The yeah, it is a jack of all trades. Hmm. Are there any plans to let me cash out? I have half a million dollars in your sweat coin cryptocurrency. <laughs> it's not a cryptocurrency, damn it! And no, sweat's for life, my friend. How dare you compare sweat to a cryptocurrency? Sweat is currency. It is a way, it's a lifestyle. <laughs> Wait, this is crypto? Crypto bad. Unfollowed. <sighs> the reason I ran over here real quick is I was wanting to... Come on. I was wanting to run in this area, grab the milk flask. Alright, apparently do not grab the milk flask. <laughs> Colmy is very protective of his glass of milk. Spot. Not Colmy, I mean uh, the bridge boss. Yeah, Colmy's back at home. Yeah, my bad. That's uh, actually, if it was Colmy, it'd be much less scary. Bridge boss is uh, is the scary one. Kind of just tanked my HP there a bit. Uh. Oh, come on. Did I hear CUM flask? P-O-G-G-I-E-S. Jesus Christ. It's milk, you degenerates. There is no sound. Her legs are your spider legs when teleporting. Shane, I'm still skeptical. Jesus, Dunk, kids watch the stream. What did I do? I was emptying out a milk flask. Synthetron said Jesus Christ, so whatever you did there, Shane, is, is bad. There is sound? Wait, it still has sound? This guy.
sound in a gif? I have no idea. Not going for new perks in this world. I've given up hope on the new perks and now I'm just trying to complete our perk duping adventure. to do now empty out the milk sounds like you just don't want to argue with chat about glass cannon to me <laughs> also probably true 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 um As long as we got a little bit of blood in the flask, it's fine. Uh, explosion of whiskey. Damn it, did I get some whiskey in here? I did. There you go, now it's back to being pure blood. Let me. Yeah, there you go. Blood, whiskey, good, good, good. This, Mimicium. Uh, cast it. <laughs> All right, blood and whiskey. Yes, some. Oh shit! That was a was an accidental cast there. Ignore that. I shouldn't be traveling into this area this way. It's a little bit sloppy. Gonna end up drawing in a ton of enemies too. I'm sure. Kill them all. So you'll notice at this point that when I'm killing enemies, they are... Wait, how many do we have of that? We have four. There should be an 80% chance of dropping blood money when we kill them. But I guess not a guarantee. Let me look around. Yeah, maybe it's not 80%. Okay, classic. giving it a moment because I have to wait for everything to kind of decide if it wants to aggro over here or not. Do to do do. Why do you pour it away after tossing the blood up? Because if I was to stay here and do the perk duping in this spot, I'm in a parallel world. And whenever your character um, attempts the perk duping method in a parallel world, there's a 50-50 chance you get stuck as whatever you were like trying to... So if you cessation, it makes your character disappear for a moment, then you return. Well, the game recognizes that you're trying to perk dupe, so you have a 50-50 chance. That's what the devs, they dev, they programmed it in as a coin flip that you basically will perma-delete your character as, like, you'll, you'll, you'll vanish and you won't return. Or, if you're polymorphing yourself, there's a 50-50 chance you'll get stuck as that creature that you polymorphed into. So you, the devs left it in that you could dupe still, but they wanted to make it where it was like, dupe at your own risk. Well, instead, what I do is I warp in the same moment that I am duping the perks, if I warp back to the main world, 
then whenever the dupe is taking place, they're like, okay, where is he at? And they're like, oh, he's in the main world. So he's duping in the main world because his coordinates are in the main world. Uh, it doesn't actually look where the perk removal altar was. It checks where the player is. So that's why that's how I eliminate those odds of getting stuck. All right, I think we're good. Just about, at least. All right, first thing first. Oh, we had a little bit of moss in our pouch. Uh, did you leave the crystals behind? I think I did. Did I not? I hope I did. Twist says I did. Where's that one review copy pasta of punishing you for trying stuff when you need it? Okay, several people are saying I did. That would suck if I if I was if it if I don't warp away, then I shouldn't just just don't cast cessation. I should not risk getting permanent. Let's say you did for content. <laughs> oh God. Do it for the content. All right, blood. Well, hold on, what world am I in? Main world, I skipped one, two, Three. Okay, so this should be the fourth one. Yeah. I guess we could check on the website. It will tell me what a parallel world I'm in. East four. Thank you, Vix. All right. So the blood spot. We filled it up. The whis I mean the not the whiskey spot, the silver spot we filled it up. Now we just have the whiskey spot remaining. Whiskey. Let's do it. Pure whiskey. Uh wait, hold on, let me get everything lined up here. This goes here. Spells to acid there. Boom. 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 Why is it only 90% blood? Uh, oh, because was I'm doing whiskey. What am I talking about? All right. So let's hope this doesn't go bad. Today I've been nailing the, uh, the perk duping. It's been... Usually I mess up a couple here and there, you know? I know Scott though. The positioning of Scott is um, there's some like randomness to it. It sometimes will will be like, hey, where's the player at, and spawn them directly on top of the player. And other times it chooses the area around the altar. Uh, the times that it chooses around the altar, then obviously it's at that altar that we were just doing that at. And then the times that it says, hey, put it on top of the player, that's when you see it warp all the way to me. Can't believe that that was a Twitch integration run at least. We're playing some Twitch integration. It's, it's different. Doesn't count. I don't know if we need uh 
any more flasks, but just in case. I'm gonna go over here and then I'm gonna grab uh, the beer flask. There we go. That happened earlier today. Yeah, during Twitch integration, I wasn't thinking and I, during like our bet, I went to put out a fire on my character. I wasn't paying attention to the fact that I had a poly flask. I polymorphed myself, tried to scramble, just died. So that was zero, so main world, one. This is number two. I've died to Polly so many on so many good runs in this uh, game. It's frustrating. Yeah, it is a frustrating game uh, with that kind of stuff. But at the same time, whenever you remove polymorphing, like let's say that Polly wasn't in the game, it makes God runs become a lot more. I mean, there are already can be a little bit, you know, like right now. Look at us. We're just kind of all over the place, goofing around. Polymorphing gives you that one fear. And I think that's what makes a, a game fun, is when you still have some fear in your heart whenever you're in a full god run. You need a little bit of danger out there. Dude, my character's lagging there. Even gods get no fear? <laughs> exactly. Doom Unite knows, man. My first ever fungal shift and uh, water turned into flum. And that right there sucks. That's a rough shift. Uh, hopefully I'm calculating this right. Yes, I think so. Big Steve. If you want to, we can grab the dice. I don't know if we're supposed to grab any more of those. I'm going to try out the wand experimenter stacking now, see what happens with the heals. I don't know if I've ever had that many wand experimenters before. Oh my gosh, look at the greed. Oh, I didn't even notice my gold's at 29 million right now. What's our difference in tinkering and no wand tinkering? We have... What? No, it's extra wand capacity. We have four no wand tinkering and eight tinker with wands everywhere. So how do you feel about the leg perk now that you have like eight? Oh, let me grab them. Gotta, gotta grow them legs. They're growing. They're growing. <laughs> Kill me! <laughs> I'm an abomination! <laughs> but now I can levitate really easily, at least. <laughs> Mancy just said, fuck that! <laughs> father, father! No! Alright, so watch this. We currently have um, eight of Tinker with Wands everywhere. 
And we have four of no wand tinkering. So that means if we grab the four no wand tinkering, we'll have the same amount of tinker with wands as no wand tinkering. So let's let's do that right now. I'll try to. The spider legs make you move faster, so it makes it a little hard to control. I'm doing my best, damn it. So now I have an equal amount of each, and that is why I can't edit my wands. As long as I grab one more, now I have a net positive of tinkering, and it makes it so that we're fine. Um, is there anything else I want here? I don't think so. Nothing else here. We really benefit from stacking. We already have it. As long as we have, like I said, more more tinker with wands and no wand tinkering, we're fine. Um. Shields, a shields would be a positive stack. I just don't want it tanks the bit rate of the stream because the visuals of the shields are, are pretty intense Let's look at our gold. We currently have 29 million All right, so it does work on the the killing of enemies now. They are guaranteed to drop They are dropping blood money 29 mil That nugget which is supposed to be worth 50 just put us to infinite <laughs> All right, so it's a good chunk of money. It was supposed to be 50 gold, and apparently we have infinite. Uh, sadly, greed and all that don't stack in such a way that makes the blood money heal more. I wish they did. I think that that would be... That'd be a nice little combo. Maybe it'd be too strong. But it is lame that like I'm grabbing this gold and the blood money is like barely healing me. Like look at all the trouble I had to go through to make it where I could actually, you know, kill enemies and get all this blood money. But look at the the healing is so minor. Not even worth. Do legs still attack enemies? Uh they do still attack, but it just had 30 damage. So it didn't look like it was anything that you're gonna be like, oh my god. I guess it's based on the nugget, and that's uh and this is a pretty small one. Uh yeah, the nugget, I think that's actually So each nugget the blood the, the chart on wiki tells each nugget and how much you get in terms of healing. Uh, blood money. Yeah, there you go. There's there's the nuggets and how much healing you get from from each nugget. And uh, I mean, it's really not that crazy until you look at the the golden statue. The golden statue does give you a thousand two hundred fifty health, which is kind of cool. But everything else is just too damn insignificant. 20 HP, huge. Yeah, a 200,000 gold nugget, and you're going to get 20 HP from it. Like, really? Is there any way to get infinite HP without grabbing 90 extra health perks? Uh, yeah, some kind of crazy heart mage setup. Uh, actually, it doesn't even have to be that crazy. If you want, I could show you one right now. Let's do it. Actually, I don't know if we'll go all the way to infinite, but we'll we'll show you something kind of cool. All right, so I think I think we're pretty much done with the perk duping portion, just so you guys know, um, because I mean, do you need a reason? <laughs> Look at us, we're hideous. No one will ever love us. More legs. Find a wand to heal. I have a wand to heal, right here. Um, all right, let me, the spider legs may end up complicating this, but let's see, we'll do our best. Do these spider legs look so, look at this, I, the legs can actually reach the ground still, so that's kind of nice. Let's see how high I can go. 
So there is a limit. Right here, I've reached the limit. It doesn't let me levitate anymore. So let's let's go downwards and let's see how far from the ground we were. But we weren't that crazy far from the ground. Hey Dunk, how do you uh, have infinite money and just uh, made the world gold? And haven't made the world gold, just joined. Uh, we stacked... 32 greed perks. So if you do the calculation, greed is supposed to, um, is it, is it just doubles it, right? Um, yeah, you double. So you get times two, times two, times two, times two, times two, and you just keep, you know, 32 times. You get the idea. So it makes it where we get a ton of gold, even from like a basic, you know, gold nugget. We get millions or billions or trillions, I guess, depending on the size of the nugget. Anything there. Yeah, it should be like 2 to the power of 32, something like that. A lot of gold. Exploding gold. All sing I. Thank you. All right. You know, I just realized I can't even show you the trick right now. We do not have ambrosia. Awesome. Um, I dropped that in the main world, didn't I? All right. Send me home. somebody had asked me if they had any if I had any tips for like poly mages there's a heart mage right there and a, and a swapper I was gonna try to show that real quick too there's several where is a poly mage there's a poly mage right there so what you do is you go in an area like this where there's tons of polymages, you find one. It's kinda hard for me to control my damn character right now because of all these freaking spider legs. You see how, you see how there's a polymage right there? You kill him, and then you eat his corpse afterwards. So you get 30 seconds of poly immunity. Then you use that poly immunity that you just gained from eating that one mage. Okay. And you can sprint around really aggressively. I don't even know where I'm at now. I'm lost. You can run around pretty aggressively looking for another poly mage like we have here. You kill the another poly mage, you eat his corpse too. And you just keep doing this. Um, and it, it doesn't take too long to stack up. And it's hard for me to do right now because my wand is kind of built shittily. You want to you wanna build a wand that doesn't completely decimate the corpse. But our wand does right now. Our wand has digging bolts, chainsaws. So when the corpse is dying, it's kind of like exploding. Shooting like little fragments of the corpse all over the place. Meaning when I go to eat it, there isn't as much corpse remaining. And then you get hit by a weakening mage. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that could that could actually happen. <laughs> be be afraid of a weakening mage can kind of null out your your effect that you got going on there. Be pretty unlucky, but it could happen. You'd be like, "All right, get hit by a weakening mage, then another poly mage." You're like, "Oh fuck. That is messed up, man." Alright, uh, what did I want to do? Oh, yeah, I, I remember. Over here. Do, 
do, do, do, do. Don't worry, I'll explain uh, how this works in just a moment. Over here, and I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. That ambrosia flask broke. What happens if I deposit my sweat? It moves it to this, your sweat bank. You can only spin sweat whenever you have banked it. So if you have it on Twitch's side, it, you still have it, but it, it can't be spent with the bot until it's been put in the bank. So you gotta bank it. Um, hmm. Let me try something real fast here. Good work. We're out this. 4% Ambrosia. There we go. Pure Ambrosia now. Get me out of here. You gotta have Ambrosia when you're doing crazy heart mage tricks. Otherwise you're gonna end up in trouble. the flask break because we unloaded the zone and then reloaded it in tends to do that annoying annoying crap uh, this that's that fill up our ambrosia oh shit what the some water got in there honestly not even sure how The desert. You were sweating. <laughs> maybe, maybe that was it. Got a little bit of sweat in there. Okay. Um. Mm -mm. Alright, I got a plan, I think. This could work. This could work. I forget, uh, my brain is blinking out right now. I'm pretty sure they do, right? Uh, these, the placate spells, is it just that one or two of them can spawn down in hell? It's been too long. Um, I think like one or two of them can spawn down in hell, right? Stealing our voice from us uh, in your way of refining garbage for YouTube peeps. JK, I like you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ryzio. Yeah, it's just trying to not get DMCA'd. Why you want them? I was thinking of using a placate to farm a couple of worm hearts so that we could show the heart mage trick getting like crazy HP. Pep and Hep are tier 10, so yeah. Pep and Hep. Kill the bridge boss real fast. 
have anything set up for that. Move this back. Someone take a sew up at that. Alright. Why are your legs so long? Because we grabbed eight of the. Here, I'll move my camera. We grabbed eight of the Luki mutations. So our legs are long. Long, long legs. Go to 16. Be an abomination. I'm, oh, I really wish we, you guys we're good. We're good. Right Don't you? Can't you appreciate sweat. us and how beautiful we are right now? Why must you always want more, chat? You animals. Uh, I gotta be careful. That bridge boss is gonna spawn in pretty soon. Oh, there he goes. Sade. It sucks because I'm pretty sure we we passed up a couple placates. I just didn't realize I was gonna be doing this, so didn't exactly plan for it. Who dad? Who dad? Uh, terrible art with the prime 41 month. There woke up early for some uh, Eldridge horror. Yeah, don't look at me, terrible art. Remember me for as I as I was. I'm a, I'm hideous now. Also lonely, like eleven. It was hit us with eleven month or forever ago. It says good morning, sir Dunk. Where are we at in the run? Oh crap! Sorry, lonely. Forgive me. Give me. I was. I've been distracted. I've been in the zone, the Noita zone. How long ago did Dunk reach climax with the amount of spider knees on the screen? What do you guys think of me? You guys think I'm some kind of animal? Okay, these are so there. Black holes. Okay, please don't. You love spiders? I do not love spiders. It's the opposite. I shared a traumatic childhood story, and you guys have mocked me ever since, you animals. Uh, we are wanting to find one of the placates. Doesn't matter which one. Okay, where are they? No, Hold up. Isn't there two? Yes, right there. One, two, okay, no, no. Spider legs make it so hard to move around. It's frustrating. But Kate, where are you? Guess we could use add trigger. But that's not preferred. Or add expiration, any of them, really. Damn, there wasn't any. Can you steal from the hell shop? Not any method that I know of. I've never seen it done. It would be nice though if you could. In our case, we don't need to because we're balling. Why is he looking for implicates? To um, create a, a small worm farm real quickly just to show some uh somebody was asking for a way to stack up hp without using um like a ton of the what do you call it uh the, ex the extra life perk 
not extra life, um, extra health perk. Uh, I, oh my bad, I keep hovering over stuff and you guys can't even see it. Extra health perk is a perk that looks at your current HP and adds 50% more. But you have to gather like 90 of those to get infinite HP. And I'm trying to show what you could use as an alternative method. I'm not saying it's going to be the easiest method, but it is an alternative. It's not too difficult, really. It's not too hard. find it in the next 15 minutes I'm abandoning the strat and just gonna give you a general look but I'm not gonna do like a super detailed breakdown I'll let RNG decide that for us So feel free to call out if you see it. I mean, I'm moving a little quickly. I wouldn't be shocked if I accidentally zoom past one. Come on, RNG. Come on. I'll still show it, but I'm not going to show like a really good one. We get the placade. It's super easy to farm hearts. You can farm, you know, hundreds of hearts. No problem. No problemo. What the? Get off me! Are you following TI this year? Uh, any favorites? Um, uh, I mean, I, I am following it. I'm definitely, I definitely watch whenever it gets uh, further in. Uh, I was looking in. I'm trying to remember. There was like what two or three teams that were 4-0 after the first day. Um, so that was like, oh shit, couple, couple potential powerhouses. But I don't really have a favorite team this year, which is bad for just the Dota scene in general hasn't done a good job at like, I don't know, hasn't had any interesting storylines and stuff. But I always, I, I don't, I never miss a TI. I've watched every one of, uh, TI stands for the International for everybody's confused in Dota. Um, I haven't ever missed one since the very first one ever. I watched it and I was like, holy shit, this game is awesome. And then I've been playing it ever since then. Hmm. Unlucky. You can just say, why does he lag? Why does he lag? Why does he lag? What do you mean, why does he lag? Am I reading that right? <laughs> why does he lag? <laughs> why does he lag? Um, I lag... Because I promised some bad perks today. And leg imitation is what I consider a bad perk. But if you stack enough of them, it's not like the worst thing ever. It's not my favorite, but it's not nearly as bad as... If you have just one, it's shit. But when you have this many, it makes it where levitation is still pretty easy to do. With one, though, levitation is rough. Check him leg. <laughs> check, check him leg. Heading down to another level of hell, and then I'm going to warp back up. Probably been about, I don't know, six or seven minutes since I said the 15 minute thing. Timer's gonna be cutting it close. Uh, any placates?
Hmm. Not cool, man. Not cool. Yeah, the add triggers, but that's only going to summon in two worms. While duplicates, we can do a million. Am I skipping a white hole? Yeah. My what people talking about? Oh, highest, uh... No, wait, did somebody just say 5k in, in, uh... Dota is like Golden League? Alright, that is the most cope I've ever seen in my life. Jesus Christ. Hmm. If you complete the Dota tutorial, you are... League of Legends professional status, my friend. You're taking the next worlds. Hmm. League sucks ass. Tell them, Marokin. Alright, alright, alright. I'll grab an ad trigger. Giving up hope, I think, on the Blacates. All my hopes and dreams are crushed. Probably would have been faster just going through Holy Mountains. Looking for a Placate. Since there's more eligible ones, because a lot of them aren't even eligible to spawn, to spawn in Hell at all. That's why it's not like a... Even though there's a good amount of different placates, only one or two of them are eligible to be down here, which sucks. Sag. Try the cloud shop? I don't think so. I'm just trying to get me polymorphed. Yeah, just two. Two of, wait, how many are there total again? I can't even remember. I made a video on them. Uh, what am I looking at the divine dice? Placates, where are you? Placates! There they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So two of seven can be found down in hell. Not the greatest odds. Wait, there's actually three, Andrew said? Are you trolling? He said, oh shit, no, ignore me. Oh, never mind. Never mind, he drunk. Hey, we found one! Wait, well, never give up on your dreams, kids. Yeah, we don't need to do that. We just... <laughs> I'm back, baby! One, two, three. Blip, blip, blip. And... Now, we're gonna have to create a heart setup. But first, we gotta find a heart mage. There's a heart mage. He's pretty close by, too. Uh, then we are going to dig a small tunnel area. Something like this looks cool. I think. Maybe. 
the snow can stay, it's fine. Just building some different tunnels here. Hopefully I can stay organized. Uh, where are you? Peplicate. Um, we need to get the, rid of the two charges of this, don't we? No, no, we need to keep one of the charges. Well, I gotta remember this. Fuck, what am I talking about? Um, gotta keep one of the charges at least. This one's... Oh, wait, if we add that, add mana, it'll go to 30. No, that's not gonna work. We need a minimum of 300. So 225 plus 110. So 335. 335 has to be that. Honestly, I think we can just cast it here. Let's see. Uh, and we can even use these modifiers to make it expensive. So uh, put that there. Let's test it out. Run over here real fast, out of the way. Hopefully out of the way. If we cast. Okay, good, 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 good. Then we just run, 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 run. Go into here. This, so we're gonna go, go two, one. Two, one. Ah, shit. Gotta not be there in such a way that we grab the heart. Pretty necessary to have the freeze on there. None of a bitch. Pretty necessary to have the freeze on there uh, for the fact that the corpses and stuff will be way too, like the blood, there'll just be too much shit going on. It's a 50 50 chance, so guys gotta start coughing up the worms reliably. There we go, there's two hearts. Are they they're like perfectly stacked? There we go, there's three hearts there. And then we go over here. We go um, That's not the best job. Two hearts there. Three hearts, alright. Crazy. The feral one. Alright, we got a couple groups of hearts. Um, let's just see how we can do this. Oh, I, I should have grabbed stronger hearts. That would have made this so much faster. That perk would have saved us a ton of time. Oh well. Oh well, what can you do? Um, feral world. Feral worm as opposed to a domesticated and there's, there's feral ones. Okay. Oh, the spider legs are gonna complicate the shit out of this, aren't they? You're gonna kill that guy. Hmm. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. No, spider legs don't kill him. May not get to show it as well as I had hoped. Um, Alright, let's see. 
Yeah, we're not going to get to show it very well at all. Because the shields are making it hard to... Uh, the shields are making it hard for him to hit me. And then the spider legs are making it so that I can't get close to him. <laughs> so what's happening here, on the rare occasion that he hits us, if we make our character disappear for a moment, it's actually kind of scary because it gets rid of the ambrosia as well. Uh, but we do have saving grace and stuff, so... Um, basically, anytime that the counter gets low, we want to warp ourselves away, and we come back, we'll have a restored... Um, what do you call it? A restored, like, stack going there. Is he keeps ricocheting into himself? <laughs> See, we finally got hit with another one, another two. Warp away, come back. Tricky thing is, how do we not get ourselves killed here? Let me think for a moment. I know, I know, we got that ambrosia. Hmm. Yeah, we may. Um, hmm. Let me think. Need three more of them to have them rapid fire your ass. That's not going to work. About this here. That'll work for now. Alright, um... We Ambrosia the Heart Mage, we can sit on top of him. But he's gonna move around a lot right now. Ah, oh, shit, didn't mean to throw that. Alright, let's see if we can do this. No, oh, see, he's already doing it. He's already starting to be a pain in the ass. Let's just get him to the bottom and then, then we'll reassess from there. A sea of ambrosia is actually kind of genius. Hmm. You may be on to something there. You may be cooking. Shit, oh shit, I'm gonna get myself killed here. Hmm. Well, basically, normally with the heart mage trick, things get a little bit weird because uh, whenever your health is like this, so we have we have health below ten. Once your health's below ten, any additional stacks that we get right now, we will not benefit from it. So these right here, we will be, we will benefit from all of these. We let them hit us again, we won't benefit. So what we're gonna do is you. Uh, should run over, grab a single one of these hearts, and then now what we can do is we can begin to get hit again, and it should, uh, it'll go back to applying to me. Okay. 
Get some ambrosia on us. Saving Grace saved you. That is fucking scary, because we have we do have one extra life actually. <laughs> um okay, so we can let him hit us a bit. Where is he at? He's in his little tunnel. Yeah, oh he's in Brogia down there too. Sweet. Nope, hit me one more time. Okay, okay. So now we are again under that threshold. If you had stronger hearts, it would give us so much more value out of this. Um, now I think on this one, you can... At some point you can stagger them. Wait, does that matter? No, I don't think it matters because it's... Uh, yeah, it shouldn't matter. So we can grab that. And hopefully he goes down into the ambrosia again. He's thinking about it. I've noticed you don't wear the uterus t-shirt anymore. Care to explain? Yeah, these degenerates ruined the shirt for me. Oh shit, just poked him for 194. You guys can see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. damn legs. It was just a matter of time. Uh, I think if it's worth finding another heart mage. Bet saved. Ah, I'm just gonna let it expire. Right, what is it? 157? I don't think it's gonna be that much. Uh, it kinda sucks. Oh well. I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Drenched in sweat. We needed, we just needed a couple more stacks and it really could have gotten, uh, it really could have gotten crazy, but I didn't want to take the time to fucking go find another heart mage, go, yeah. Uh, Make skin red and head bald? Are you going to see- wait, what did it do to the sweat leg there? Did it actually work? <laughs> skin red. Thank you for the tier 1 sub. Uh, Miseroth. Miseroth with the 2 month or says just one more month. Miseroth, thank you for the 2 months. Thanks for not getting scared away after that, uh, the first sweaty month. Please pick up one to try one experiment. Yes, I do want to try that too. That's- Glad you said that. Um, hmm. God damn it. Yeah, sorry. I was wanting to do a better version of the telly. The problem is this, the spider legs complicated everything. So I was thinking, yeah, we could do this, no problem. And then I realized later, I was like, wait a second. Spider legs are going to be poking this guy the whole time. Uh, where's something that can actually hurt us? No! Spider legs, stop killing these guys. These are my friends. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this guy right here. He 
He's got me right where he wants me. Good care. I'm scared of a polymage is what I'm scared of. Getting hit with a polymage right now would be fucked. <laughs> like all these dudes just damaging the hell out of me. Alright, I don't think the heal will do that much, so let's find a wand. The test wand experimenter. Uh, but yeah, if you just sit there for a little bit longer, you can set it up so that whenever you do the uh, the heart mage trick, make sure you don't have something that kills them like what I did, and you can take it to infinite HP. You would just have to kind of like double what what I did. But since the health is like exponential growth, then it's not too bad. Uh, we're looking for a wand. Test the heals. No, we're not doing any more hard mage stuff. I'm not going to make you guys sit through that again. I was just trying it out, and then the spider legs were just getting in the way. But you saw the idea. You saw that using cessation. The key thing, the key takeaway is that cessation on its own, when you disappear and you come back, it does reset the timer. I've talked about this on my YouTube, but the downfall is that the cessation also adds a 10 second recharge time, which uh, would still, you'd still be able to do it in time. You'd still be able to reset it over and over, but rather than risk it, risk that long recharge time, put any divide by on cessation. It doesn't matter, any of them. And when you put it on there, it makes it where you can just constantly spam it without having to worry about the, it, it doesn't add the castle recharge time, it ignores it. Which then you can do some craziness. Uh, okay, so we currently have 318,000, 318,491, 318,491. I'm gonna fire this a bit. 318, so it was 491. Let's just say uh, it added 500 for one shot. I mean, pretty much like a thousand, a little over a thousand. It's, eh, it's not really worth. It's not not worth stacking. Hmm. Why you have the spidey legs? I was born this way. No, chat made me do this. All right. They said you have to stack spider legs today, and I was like, please no. But then I said, you know what? Maybe with enough stacks of it, we can make it look like it's pretty decent. As you can see, it's not completely terrible, but even even then, even with trying to make it look pretty decent, you already saw that there's some major drawbacks with it, like killing that heart mage and stuff like that. But chat, it's time for this adventure to come to an end. Today's goal was uh, mainly just, you know, objective based, making some ridiculous spider legs. And we also made it where every enemy that we kill, you notice they drop blood money, but we do not have the, oh wait, wait, what? I said every enemy that we kill, and then these enemies just proceeded to not drop blood money. Shouldn't it be 100%? How many did I end up with? Come on, where is it? There's no wand tinkering. Eight of them? I'm getting both gold and... The rest is as normal gold. They drop blood money, but only the first 50 G. Oh, okay. So they are 100% of the time, but they're limited. I didn't actually realize that. I forgot about that little detail. I guess it's because it's not really a viable strat, and it just shows it's not even, it's still not like, even, even with five of them, it's or eight of them, it's still not even that great. It's only 50 gold of the drop, and since these enemies drop more gold than your average enemies, since it's the late game, they always drop bonus gold. Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, we've completed our adventure for today. Now we need to bring it home by smacking Colmy in the face. Should be no problem. And we're going to kill him with Touch of Blood. We're going to keep it simple. Oops. Mm. Piercing. 
homing, spark trigger, touch of blood. That'll do. You can actually use this build right here to kill all the way up to like a 30, 30 or 31 orb boss. Because they, uh, as you can see right there, they only become immune to touch of at around 30 orbs. Uh, you can look on the wiki to see the exact number. So you'll insta kill every single boss. Let's see. Do, 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 do. You'll insta kill every single version of Colmy, not every boss, every version of Colmy, up until uh, 31 orbs grants immunity to touch of spell damage and effects. So uh, 66 billion HP. You can one shot them with that touch of spell that I just used. Like touch of spell, a touch of spell, touch of blood, touch of gold, any of those touch of spells will insta kill every single one of these previous bosses, which the one we just fought right now was like this one or something. Um, but then be careful once you hit 31, 132 billion HP. Now the boss is immune to it and he will murder you. Oh, I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drunk in sweat. And to show you just how deadly those touch of spells are, by the way, we get if you're curious why we get the huge dollar trophy, that is because okay, these spider legs look hilarious. That is because we have so much money. Uh, we get the gold trophy for collecting so much gold. Jay to the G, yo, what's up, Jay? Thank you for the 36 monther. Damn, three years. Time does fly. Time does fucking fly. That's for sure, Jay. Appreciate you. Can you pick it up? Uh, the little one, yes. The all the money's trophy, but the big one, no. All the money's trophy's worth like 100,000 gold. But even with all this HP, touch of blood, you see, it's still, it still pumps. And the only reason we survived it is because we have saving grace. So what I'm going to do, Where's the, the gamma? Oh, there it is. There we go. And then now I can properly show just how strong Touch of Blood is. So 322,000 health. Cast Touch of Blood without a trigger or anything. Just cast it straight up. Saving Grace saves us again at 1 HP. Then the killing blow. GG. Thank you, chat, for the GGs. Yes, I did mute Dunkbot for this video, uh, so that or this run, so that maybe we can post it to YouTube. I don't know if it was the most exciting. I was ranting. We were, you guys were falling asleep, all that kind of stuff. But I appreciate you guys being here for the journey. Um, as you can see, you may notice that the chat is a little bit less degenerate lately. That's because there has been some uh, upgrades made in the emoting world. Um, oh, I didn't even realize. No wonder it was so peaceful. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They had they were forced to be behaved today. They were forced. You always rant. That's true. This is true. No weebs. Great. It was a good day. Win number two thousand one hundred and forty-seven. The only mod that we had turned on is the ability to. In your browser, you can open, uh, you can if you type exclamation mark wand in the chat, while if you're here live, of course, for the YouTube peeps, it won't work because you're not here live. But if you type exclamation mark wand, you do get a link 
to this right here, which will show you the wands that I'm currently using in my run. And it shows you my inventory and everything and all the perks I have. So show all perks. This is where you could uh, track on today's run, for example, you hover over this, see it says eight times Luki mutation. This is where you can track what perks I, and stuff I have during a run. If you ever stop by the live stream, um, the command is exclamation mark one, but that's the only, that's the only mod that we have turned on. Besides that, it's just a vanilla run. Vanilla Noita Adventure. Thanks for being here and stopping by. And for those of you that tuned out like five hours ago, I don't blame you because it was a grind. But we got it done. GG.